Chapter 659, Arrival at the Shui Family Only after asking did they find out what actually happened. Right after Justice carried Shui Wubo's body away, Yu Man Lu had collapsed onto the ground unconscious. After the experts under Yu Man Lu took him away to take a rest, they left without witnessing the final mixed battle. They estimated that Yu Man Lu had probably escaped to the pier at that moment, leaving on the boat immediately a broken bar. He left without the slightest bit of hesitation. Yu Man Lu's judgment was truly admirable. He did not consider whether or not Justice had spotted anything and did not dream that Justice would die from the venom in Shui Wubo's body. He made plans for the worst possible scenario and left immediately. He could not even be bothered about what would happen to his Yu family in Heavenly Wind a broken bar. There was another possibility. Yu Man Lu decided to leave the moment he saw Justice. Because Justice was one of the few in the world who had the strength to threaten Yu Man Lu. The moment he realized something was wrong, he left without any hesitation and refused to take the slightest bit of risk. Resolute. This was the demeanor of an ambitious character. Ling Tian and Justice stood by the pier with worry on their faces. With this sudden change in the war for hegemony, the two of them felt their hearts turn heavy. With Yu Man Lu leaving today, it would be difficult to find another chance to deal with him. With things turning out this way, the only option available would be for us to defeat all of Yu Man Lu's forces and force him into a corner before killing him with a single blow. Ling Tian said with a low tone, this is probably the only way left. No, we could also assassinate him, Ling Jian said with a serious expression. If the few of us brothers join hands, I believe that we will be able to get rid of Yu Man Lu. You must not, Justice and Ling Jian shouted together. Ling Jian looked at Ling Jian with a deep gaze. Ah Jian, my previous judgment of Yu Man Lu was insufficient. If I really allow you to try to assassinate him, I believe that even if all of you are able to successfully assassinate him, not a single one of you would be able to return alive. If the price of me ruling over the world is the lives of my brothers, then I rather allow you Man Lu to rule over the world. Unless a broken bar I take action personally. Young noble, no. The rims of Ling Jian's eyes turned red and he quickly turned around to prevent the two others from seeing the tears in his eyes. If the price of me ruling over the world is the lives of my brothers, then I would rather allow Yu Man Lu to rule over the world. Justice repeated those words and lamented, Ling Tian, from the beginning to the end, I always thought that you were no different from Yu Man Lu with your ambitious character and vicious means. In that case, regardless of who gains the world, it wouldn't be anything good for the commoners of the world. But after hearing the words, A unless I take action personally from you, I finally understand that I have underestimated you. Yu Man Lu wants to gain the world under his command even if he has to sacrifice his parents and family members. Anyone who blocks his way will be killed without mercy. In order to achieve his goals, apart from sacrificing his life, he is willing to sacrifice anything else. However, you, Ling Tian, are different. You have so many things that you aren't willing to give up. I am beginning to believe in you. Ling Tian let out a desolate smile. I never wanted to be a hero or become an ambitious individual. After all, it is too tiring to be a hero and there are far too many restrictions. An ambitious individual is too lonely and it is difficult for an ambitious individual to have family and trusted aides. There are far too many people in the world that I cannot abandon, like my brothers, my family, and my women. Ling Tian sighed as he lamented. I have far too many weaknesses for my enemies to target and so I cannot allow them to find out my weaknesses. Currently, everyone including you thinks that I, Ling Tian, am an ambitious character. When dealing with an ambitious character like Ling Tian, it would be useless to threaten him with his kin. As long as he is alive, there would definitely be endless troubles. I must attract all of their attention to myself. This is also something that I wanted. It seemed like your acting skills are truly fantastic. Justice could not help but laugh. It is truly a good idea for you to act like an ambitious character. This isn't an act, Ling Tian said with a serious expression. It is truly more comfortable to be an ambitious character as compared to being a hero. I can do whatever I wish to and that is the most delightful way to live. Justice, do you think that a hero does not wish to do as they wish? Ling Tian burst out laughing. 
They also wish to do so but they are entrapped by their title of being a hero. They have to suppress their desires and are unable to do as they wish. Can that still be considered a hero? They are just pitiful bugs. A hero should be rated on whether or not his deeds benefited the entire world and not his means. A false gentleman will never be a hero. If they cannot even do as they wish freely, how can they be considered a hero? Ling Tian burst out laughing. I am numb to killing and my methods are sinister. I will not treat my enemies with mercy and will wipe them out by the roots. When fighting for hegemony, I will resort to any means possible and scheme against the various aristocratic families. However, I have never harmed the commoners of the world. I have only killed those who deserve to die. Even if I am an ambitious character, when I unite the world and bring peace to the commoners, who would not say that I am a hero? Of all the monarchs in history, which one of them would be heroes to the very end? Not a single one. Not even half a monarch. If they continue leading a, a heroic life, not a single one of them would be able to survive to the very end, not to mention ascending to the throne. Ling Tian turned around to look at justice, determining who the hero is from one's actions. Only your beyond heavens would make such casual judgments. For the first time, Justice was rendered speechless. He never imagined that a casual joke of his would incite such a long speech from Ling Tian. But as he thought about it carefully, Ling Tian's words did indeed make sense. Hero? Ambitious character? Justice muttered under his breath as he looked up at the sky. Perhaps it is time for Beyond Heavens to be disbanded. Justice thought to himself in his heart. The generational battle between the Shui and Yu families was over but the storm in Heavenly Wind had only started to brew. The flags of the Sky Alliance were already fluttering proudly all around the continent. At the same time, the war for authority in the Shui family had also begun. Shui Wubo's death had greatly affected the strength of the already dwindling side branch of the Shui family. Just when the conflict between the two factions was extremely intense, Ling Tian appeared in the Great Hall of the Shui family with his men. After witnessing Justice's departure like a free swallow, Ling Tian made his way to the Shui family together with Ling Jian. With a generational battle over, the members of the Yu family were packing up and getting ready to leave. Yu Bing Yan was naturally not part of this group. Ling Tian had pondered about whether he should inform Yu Man Tang and Yu Man Tian about Yu Man Lu cultivating an evil martial art. But after long consideration, Ling Tian decided to remain silent about it. With Yu Man Tian's character, he would definitely interrogate Yu Man Lu the moment he learned of this. At the same time, Yu Man Tian would probably be the first to die in Yu Man Lu's hands as well. At that time, Ling Tian would only be harming Yu Man Tian. As for Yu Man Tang, Ling Tian had only briefly mentioned it to him. Ling Tian only briefly mentioned that Yu Man Lu's martial art was extremely evil with a heavy sigh of anger. After that, he did not say another word. With Yu Man Tang's wisdom, it wouldn't be difficult for him to guess why Ling Tian was beating about the bush. However, Yu Man Tang hid everything in his heart and pretended that he did not hear or understand anything. After all, their Yu family still has to survive from now on. Before the world was united as one, large aristocratic families such as the Yu and Shui families would not disappear. However, Ling Tian had already made a decision in his heart. The moment peace is restored to the world and there are no longer wars, Ling Tian would not allow families like the Yu, Shui and how to continue being the local tyrants of their region. Before that day arrives, everything was just empty words. With regards to the authority of the Shui family, Ling Tian had a long conversation with Shui Man Kong. Ling Tian felt that since they intended to cleanse the Shui family out of all oppositions, they should do it thoroughly. Ling Tian had openly proclaimed his intention to unleash a massacre in the Shui family. If the cleansing only happened with water, it would only be a matter of time before a relapse happens. The moment a relapse happened, it would be a tragedy for the Shui family. Only by using the sharpest and reddest blood to cleanse the Shui family would they be able to ensure that no relapse would occur. Being overly merciful would never allow one to accomplish anything. The only reason why the Shui family ended up in its miserable straits was because of Shui Man Khan's mercy, even if he hated his enemy to the bone. He could not bear to uproot his enemies from the root. With regards to his character, 
Ling Tian was completely speechless. No wonder his daughter and son would think of going to Heavenly Star in an attempt to save their family. Helpless, Ling Tian could only agree to Shui Man Kong's request. As long as Shui Man Xu was wise enough, Ling Tian would only kill a few individuals to scare him. Upon hearing that, Shui Man Kong felt a burden being lifted off his shoulders and quickly agreed. A pity Shui Man Kong was wrong. Ling Tian had already predicted that Shui Man Shu and his gang would definitely not be wise. They wouldn't shed tears if they didn't see the coffin. Ling Tian had already decided that regardless of Shui Man Kong's choice, all of them would have to die. Indeed, Shui Man Shu, Shui Man Peng, and the others were even more foolish than Ling Tian had expected. Their words and actions went completely overboard and they were like beasts struggling in a cage. In Ling Jian's words, even if a coffin is in front of these people, they won't be able to stop themselves from jumping into the coffin to test it out. The intense argument from within the Shui family's hall was one that could be heard from even a mile away. This made Ling Tian who was seated in the side hall extremely impatient. This was originally a problem that could be easily solved with a simple massacre but Shui Man Kong and Shui Qiana were both vehemently against that idea. However, these two individuals were people who Ling Tian had no choice but to show some face to. Both father and daughter felt that after Shui Wubo's and Shui Man Cheng's death, it shouldn't be too difficult for them to wrestle back the authority within the family. However, they never expected Shui Man Shu and Shui Man Ping would gather all of the elders to question and provoke their authority. The A incompetence of the Shui family had always been Shui Man Kong's biggest flaw and Shui Man Kong was also blamed for the internal mess within the Shui family. In their mouths, everything that went wrong in the Shui family was a result of their family head's incompetence and their family head should give up his seat. As such, Emotions flared up and all the elders of the Shui family demanded that Shui Man Kong fulfill the promise he made before the generational battle and give up all authority in the family before receiving the punishment of the family. The elders in Shui Man Kong's faction naturally refused to back down but were inferior in number. With the argument growing more and more intense, all of their faces flushed red and it seemed as though a chaotic battle was about to break out. Ah, uh, is this the thousand-year-old Shui family or is this a market? Why does it seem like I came to the wrong place? A young voice sounded with disdain in his voice. While the voice wasn't loud, everyone in the hall could hear his voice despite the commotion. Furthermore, every one of them felt as though that young voice was directed at them. Just what kind of cultivation would be required? Just what kind of means did this individual have? After losing their number one expert, how could the Shui family not be shocked? The entire hall immediately fell silent and everyone turned to look at the door. The door was opened and a young white-robed teen was standing outside the door with a smile on his face. At the same time, his eyes were filled with unconcealed disdain. Behind him, there were a couple of white-robed men standing upright in an orderly fashion. However, right at this moment, Everyone in the hall could only see Ling Tian and not anyone else. Just like on a night with a full moon, regardless of how many stars there are in the sky, everyone's attention would immediately be captured by the moon the moment they look up at the sky. The brightest moon. This foreign white-robed teen was like the full moon in the sky. He was like a gigantic magnet attracting all of their gazes. By Shui Man Kong's side. The eyes of the originally enraged Shui Kiana lit up immediately and she was overjoyed. With regards to the stunning effect that he created, Shui Kiana only felt pride. This is my beloved man, my beloved man who loves me. Who are you? Why do you dare to barge into my Shui family's residence? Do you want to become enemies with my Shui family? A middle-aged man asked with a solemn expression. He was Shui Man Shu. Linked Yan. He is linked Yan from the Ling family. A young man cried out with a flustered expression. The one who cried out was Shui Ki on high who saw linked Yan back in Heavenly Star. Everyone was startled. Linked Yan, one of the two hegemons in Heavenly Star capable of being a match for Yu Man Lu. He was also the widely known number one demon of killing who brought five individuals to fight his way through a million soldiers. To think that such a character would appear before their eyes, of course. Ling Tian was also widely known for something else that everyone had already forgotten, he was the number one profligate son in sky bearing a broken bar. 
so it is the arrival of young noble Ling. Please forgive this Shui for not receiving you. Shui Man Yun cupped his hands and said with a smile. At the same time, he grumbled in his heart. One Hajimin has just left and another is here again. For these two opponents of Heavenly Star to appear in Heavenly Wind at the same time, could it be a coincidence? Furthermore, what is Ling Jian's purpose for visiting Heavenly Wind? Jian, was the one who spoke to this young noble family head Shui Man Kong? Ling Jian raised his head up slightly pretending as though he could not hear Shui Man Yun's words. Since he was here to seek trouble with them, how would he treat them politely? Reporting to Young Noble, I heard that family head Shui is a heroic figure with an imposing disposition. A figure like him with a cunning pair of eyes would never be the family head of the Shui family. At the very most, he can only belong to someone from the side branch. Someone like him will never have the rights to be a direct descendant of the family. Young Noble, I am truly sorry. We would not have any information on such a figure. May Young Noble forgive me. Ling Jian rubbed his head and replied respectfully. Ling Jian naturally knew how to work together with his young noble to blow things up. After all, if he didn't blow things up and a fight didn't break out, wouldn't he have nothing to do? A figure like you dares to talk instead of the Shui family head? Is this the way a thousand-year-old family treats its guests? Ling Jian bellowed in anger before looking at Ling Jian. Are you becoming stupid? Why are you not chasing trash like him away? You made this young noble waste my saliva for no good reason. This subordinate is in the wrong. This subordinate will do so immediately. Ling Jian acted like a flustered subordinate, as Shui Man Yun heard the conversation of the two individuals. He was almost angered to death. His body trembled from head to toe with his previously fair face turning ashen from anger. That woe broken bar I am sorry. I don't know your name. Ling Jian said apologetically but not a tinge of apology could be seen on his face. My young noble wants to talk to your family head. Please step aside. Even if you are from the side branch, you are still a disciple of an aristocratic family. Why don't you know the basic rules? If this happened in the Ling family, you would definitely be beaten to death for your crimes. Shui Man Yun finally exploded. This wasn't the way to bully someone. His lips were trembling and even his tone changed. Ling Tian, you actually dare to act in such an arrogant manner? Even a slave of yours dares to humiliate an important member of my Shui family? So what if you are Hajimin in Heavenly Star? We are now in Heavenly Wind and in the premises of the Shui family. My status would only be higher than your Ling family. What right do you have to say such words? What right do you have to humiliate me as such? If you do not give me a reason, my Shui family will not let you off. Ling Jian lowered his head and snapped his fingers. With a frown, he did not even lift his head up to look at Shui Man Yun. Reason? Not letting me off? Even a character like you can be considered an important member of the Shui family? You can actually represent the Shui family? What a fool! If the Shui family is filled with characters like you, you are truly tarnishing the name of a thousand-year-old family. From Shui Man Yun's faction, Seven to eight elders stormed out angrily. Little Junior, do you know the price of humiliating my Shui family? You are going to pay a price for your arrogance today. Chapter 660, Massacre Oh, are you guys the family head of the Shui family? Ling Tian began crying out. Strange, before the family head said anything. So many of you are so eager to jump out. Old fogies, do all of you think that you are superior to your family head? This is the bearing of a thousand year old family. This is truly rare. It is truly better to witness all of your bearings rather than hearing about it in the rumors. Ling Jian's words were laced with sarcasm. These words made the elders who were already dissatisfied with Shui Man Kong stir with anger. Their cold eyes were fixed on Ling Jian and they all looked as though they were itching to give Ling Jian a beating. For you to act in such an unbridled fashion in our Shui family territory, regardless of your background, you are truly going too far. Shui Man Kong flicked his sleeves and stopped the elders from his faction who were about to charge forward to defend Ling Tian. With a smile on his face, he shook his head. As such, the scenario in the hall became one of Ling Tian facing Shui Man Peng, Shui Man Yun, 
and the others from their faction. Despite suffering from the miserable losses of the generational battle, there were still a full 200 experts from their faction. Such a force was one that couldn't be underestimated regardless of where one was. On the contrary, the number of warriors under Shui Man Kong's command who had the right to join the battle was no more than a hundred. With the huge disparity in their forces, it was obvious that the side branch of the Shui family had the upper hand. It was no wonder they dared to act in such an unbridled manner when facing their family head. You have to know, the number one expert of the Shui family was also on their side before his death. Ling Yan could not help but lament in his heart. With the huge disparity between their strengths, it would be a wonder if nothing went wrong. Audacious. Why? Could it be that the few of you dare to surround this young noble? Ling Yan's face was calm as he hollered. Not a trace of fear or anxiousness could be heard in his voice and he sounded like an emperor facing an army of rebel soldiers. His voice was filled with the authority of a powerhouse, as though anyone who defied him would be killed. Who do you think you are, Ling Yan? Don't think that you can flaunt your might in heavenly wind just because you are a Jimin in heavenly star. An elder sneered as he looked at Ling Yan. Today, this old man will teach you a lesson. Even if you are a ferocious tiger, you cannot cross the river. The elder glared at Ling Yan with a menacing gaze and emphasized every word clearly. Those who attempt to cross the river shall die. Those who dare to humiliate the Shui family. Die. Close to 200 hollered in unison and their killing intent exploded forth. Do all of you really intend to kill me? All of you aren't joking? Ling Yan suddenly lifted his head up and smiled gently. Despite his warm and sunny smile, the 200 warriors of the Shui family felt as though a gust of cold wind blew past them. Do you think that you will be able to leave this place alive after humiliating our Shui family members in the Shui family? Shui Man Yan laughed sinisterly. For the past thousand years, there has never been a single person. Ling Yan let out a heavy sigh before shaking his head with a tinge of frustration. Shutting his eyes, he said with dissatisfaction. Even talking with all of you takes so much effort. In the past thousand years, there has never been anyone. As he said that, he raised his eyebrows at Ling Jian. Ling Jian, it seems like they truly want to kill us and aren't getting. What do you think we should do? Then we should kill them all first. A fierce glow could be seen in Ling Jian's eyes. Those who dare to harm young nobles should have their nine clans executed. Air a broken bar nine clans execute T to broken bar Ling Jian could not help but let out a bitter laugh. Didn't that mean that he should also be executed? There isn't a need to be so cruel. I am in a good mood today. I shall just kill them all and spare their nine clans. Roger, Ling Jian turned around while hugging his sword. Stretching out his right hand, five swords were unsheathed in unison but only a single sound could be heard. They were the most powerful assassin combination, Feng, Yun, Lei, Dian, and the first pavilion head, Ling Jian. Right at this moment, killing intent erupted forth in the large hall. Despite the presence of 200 Shui family experts, they were actually unable to suppress the incoming killing intent. Do not let them have the chance to take action. Charge forward to kill them all. Dismember their bodies into a thousand pieces. Shui Ki on high who had witnessed Ling Jian's strength before roared out anxiously. However, not a single person listened to his orders. Who would bother about a junior? Ling Jian's lips curled up in a cold sneer. Kill. The five assassins launched their attacks together. The one who takes action first shall have the advantage. This was the first principle of assassination that Ling Jian constantly reminded them. Especially when noticing that the other party has the intention to attack, they should seize the initiative without the need for seeking permission. The first to suffer was naturally the furious Shui Man Yun who was standing at the very front. Shui Man Yun would never believe he had broken bar even when he had the absolute numerical advantage. He would actually have broken bar. He saw a sword light flash past his eyes as though there was an expert launching an attack. Just when he was about to unsheathe his sword to block the attack, he felt a cold wind blow past his face. Retreating a few steps back, he felt a sharp pain at his back. Attempting to take a few steps forward to avoid the pain, he felt his whole body being engulfed in pain. Following which, Shui Man Yun was horrified to realize that he no longer had his legs. His knees were on the ground and a large bloody hole could be seen in his back. Furthermore, 
All of this was what he felt and not what he saw. As for why he couldn't see, the reason was extremely simple, his eyes were already reduced to two slits of blood. He was long blind. Shui Manyun was completely frightened. While he had the heart to cry out in misery, he realized that he could no longer let out a single sound. His figure collapsed heavily onto the ground as though he was a rotten wooden pole. This series of changes was truly too terrifying and swift. He didn't even have the chance to react. Shui Manyun from the Shui family. Dead. With Shui Manyun's martial arts, even if he wasn't a match for Yu Manjian, he wouldn't be too far off. If he was facing Ling Jian head on in a calm battle, even if he wasn't a match for Ling Jian, he wouldn't have lost so quickly and miserably. However, when facing the ferocious attack of the first pavilion head, he did not even have his sword drawn and his emotions were extremely agitated. He was only thinking about how he could rely on his numbers to take down Ling Jian and his gang. Thus, it wasn't that surprising for the battle to end in such an outcome. At the same time, seven to eight miserable groans could be heard. The group of warriors standing at the very front had also collapsed onto the ground together with Shui Man Yun. Not a single one of them was just wounded, because they were all dead. The four white-robed individuals who killed these eight individuals did not stop there. They charged straight into the crowd with their swords gleaming. At the same time, Four crisp voices sounded, those who dare to disrespect young noble shall die. Spread out. All of you spread out. Gathering together will only cause all of you to commit fratricide. A bearded elder roared. Shui Ki on High's face was completely pale as he looked around with a horror. With his father killed before his very eyes, the first reaction of this aristocratic young noble wasn't to take revenge for his father but to pee his pants in fear. However, this was truly a life-saving talisman. Ling Jian, Feng, Yun, Lei, and Dian were utterly disgusted at a coward like him and disdained to kill a coward like him. The five of them were like five ferocious tigers roaming freely in a herd of sheep. Wherever they went, clouds of blood would explode and they would only leave behind fatalities without any casualties. By the side, Shui Man Khan ordered those in his faction to remain calm and watch by the side. If they couldn't tell that Ling Yang was here to aid Shui Man Kong, they truly deserved to have their eyes plucked out. Despite them being aware of that, they wouldn't be so foolish to open their mouths about it. At the same time, while they understood that there was a need for such a cleansing, upon hearing the miserable cries of their fellow family members and witnessing all of their bodies collapsing onto the ground, they could not help but feel their hearts ache. At the same time, the exquisite sword planned profound cultivation of the five assassins shocked every one of them present. The most frightening thing was how the five of them could slaughter their enemies as though they were having a casual meal. In the eyes of these five experts, human life was like cabbages for them to harvest as they wished. All of them had calm expressions on their faces as though it was just an ordinary affair. The way these five individuals treated life like ants truly made all of their hair stand upon edge. They weren't just natural born assassins. They were cold blooded butchers. Ruer, are these five individuals the most powerful subordinates under Ling Jian? Shui Man Khan whispered to his daughter. Their martial arts are truly exceptional and they are truly top-notch experts. No wonder Ling Jian was able to weave through a million soldier army with the five of them. They are powerful indeed. They can't be considered the best. While they are top-notch experts in the Ling family courtyard, they are not the best. There are still a few more powerful than them. With Ling Jian coming to Heavenly Wind, he would still have to leave a few experts behind to protect the Ling family courtyard. Shui Qian answered honestly. However, her honest reply had made the eyeballs of the elders by her side almost pop out. Any one of these five experts before them would probably have the right to lead a sect and reign over a region of the continent. However, they still weren't the most powerful experts in the Ling family courtyard. Then just how frightening would the best experts of the Ling family courtyard be? Besides that, there are still plenty of experts in the Ling family courtyard capable of being a match to these five. The strength that you are witnessing before you isn't considered much. Shui Ki Honor's words made everyone present take in a deep breath of cold air. These experts still aren't considered much. There are still plenty of them. Just how powerful was the Ling family, including Shui Man Kong, 
All the elders of the Shui family felt short of breath. There are still plenty of broken bar. How many of them are there? It would be sufficiently frightening even if there were another three or four of such experts. Shui Kiana frowned and said, I am not sure exactly how many of such experts there are in the Ling family. However, I estimate that there should be 14 or 15 of them at least. 14 or 15? Wouldn't that be a force that is a couple of times more powerful than these individuals? The tone of the bearded elder had gotten a pitch higher and he took in a deep breath of cold air. This was far too shocking. Even in the Shui family, experts of such caliber stood at the very peak of the family. Before the generational battle, there were only three to five such experts in the whole Shui family. Furthermore, the frosty teen in the lead was definitely at the level of Shui Wubo. Just what kind of strength was that? However, there was another 14 or 15 of such experts in Ling Tian's camp. Just what kind of strength was the Ling family hiding? Wasn't such strength too unfathomable and frightening? After the chaos and massacre at the start, the Shui family was gradually regaining their ground and the battle was no longer as one-sided as before. The Shui family was a thousand-year-old family after all. While they were caught off guard initially and fell into a mess, they quickly stabilized the situation and Ling Jian could no longer massacre his opponents like before. It could be seen from the results of the battle since some who were only wounded were beginning to appear in the Shui family. The five of them fought individually and each of them had already taken the lives of five to six individuals. However, after the Shui family stabilized the situation, they gradually began to get into formation. Shui Man Kong As the family head of the Shui family, you actually colluded with outsiders to destroy my Shui family's foundations. Even the heavens will not be able to tolerate your actions. Even in your death, how will you be able to face your ancestors in death? Shui Man Ping waved his sword and cursed. From beginning to the end, Ling Tian's men had only targeted his faction. As for the experts in Shui Man Kong's faction, not to mention helping them, they did not even let out a single sound. If Shui Man Ping still couldn't tell that something was wrong, he should just bang his dead and die. For Shui Man Ping to speak up at this moment, it was sufficient to show his confidence. The incoming enemies were already surrounded and regardless of how powerful they were, his faction had already gained the upper hand. At the very most, they would be like beasts trapped in a cage. Now that he saw through Shui Man Kong's scheme, he would be able to seize the position of the family head after settling the chaos. Shui Man Yun and Shui Man Cheng had already died and there wouldn't be anyone else to fight with him for the position of family head. As long as he could quell the chaos before him, the entire Shui family would be his to command. Thinking about that. Shui Man Ping grew extremely excited. Look at how excited he is. It is truly a wonder for him to be so excited before his death. Ling Tian shook his head and let out a sigh. All of a sudden, his white robes fluttered and he shot into the battlefield. With a wave of his arms, the seven experts surrounding Ling Feng collapsed onto the ground with blood flowing out of their seven orifices. Stretching out his hands, he caught another two individuals before smashing them together in the middle. His figure that drifted back and he appeared beside Ling Yun. Two long zerds and one battle saber cleaved down towards him, but with a graceful slide, he easily avoided the danger. Following that, the three individuals who slashed at him were cleaved into six pieces. At the same time, the two individuals who were caught by Ling Tian were smashed together and their brains exploded like two watermelons. Without turning back, Ling Tian casually crushed an individual's throat with a casual pinch with his left hand. As for his right hand, his right hand smashed towards the chest, back, and abdomen of the eight experts surrounding Ling Lei. With the eight experts collapsing onto the ground, Ling Lei's sword could only stab into the air because there weren't any targets left. With a brilliant flash, the heaven splitter was unsheathed. At the place where the members of the Shui family was the densest, Ling Tian's figure drifted over and a majestic sword chi enveloped the crowd. With a clanging sound, the heaven splitter returned to its sheath. Ling Tian's body did not touch the ground and spun around in midair. Flying out of the crowd, he roared, kill them all. With this roar of his, pillars of blood shot towards the sky and more than 40 individuals had either their heads chopped off or waist cleaved into two. In that single instant, 
while the others could only see a single flash. Ling Tian unleashed a full 40 sword strikes. Not a single sword missed its target and not a single target was attacked twice. In just a couple of breaths, there were already more than 70 individuals who had died in his hands. Any one of these individuals were rare experts in the continent but they were actually squashed so easily by Ling Tian like a pile of clay without the slightest ability to fight back. The originally crowded hall was almost half emptied in this short few moments. Seeing Ling Tian unleash his might, Ling Jian was also energized. With a cold demeanor, his longsword was as graceful as the wind and as vicious as a venomous snake. With every sword strike, there would definitely be someone dying under his sword. Ling Feng and the other three assassins immediately felt greatly relieved and they worked together with Ling Jian to unleash their final charge. From this moment on, the side branch of the Shui family no longer had the chance to turn things around. Ling Tian's figure flashed out of the battlefield and drifted to Shui Qiang's side. Looking at her eyes filled with sweetness and love, Ling Tian chuckled, Little beauty, I didn't scare you, did I? Is your husband powerful enough? Shui Qiang's face immediately turned red and she turned around quickly. How shameless! You only know how to praise yourself. Shui Man Khan burst out laughing and said, Ha ha ha, young noble Ling's martial arts are naturally unparalleled and he definitely isn't bragging. The way I see it, even the late first elder of our Shui family, Elder Shui Wu Bo, wouldn't be a match for him. As these words were said, the few elders by the side nodded in agreement. Ling Tian smiled slightly and looked at them. I only know a few tricks for self-defense. How do I deserve such praises from elders? He then looked towards Ling Jian and the others in battle with a mysterious smile. The faces of everyone present turned red together. Chapter 661, I Want Heavenly Wind Currently, Ling Tian was helping their Shui family cleanse any opposition from within their family. However, they were all sitting down by the side allowing Ling Tian to massacre their family members as he wished. These two things did not feel good at all. It was one thing for them to not have the strength to cleanse the opposition out of their family. However, it was truly a little too much for them to be watching by the side when their reinforcements are here. After letting out two dry coughs, Shui Man Kong let out a bitter laugh and said, Young noble may not know but a broken bar. Ling Tian smiled and said, I understand. After taking in a deep breath, he repeated himself with a solemn expression, I really understand. Regardless of how outrageous their actions or how much they forced you, they are still your family members. Regardless of who emerges as the victor, it will not feel good for you to kill your brothers. I have felt this once before. Thus, let me be the bad guy. I am most suitable. Ling Tian let out a sigh. Shui Ki Honor walked over to Ling Tian's side and held onto his arm with a comforting gaze. With Tenj taking action, he not only prevented us from killing our own brethren, he even helped us to thoroughly cleanse our Shui family. His actions allowed us to prevent the downfall of the Shui family and our Shui family must always remember this favor. Ling Tian felt a weird feeling in his heart as he heard those words. What is this last trying to hint by saying those words? These words of hers would be completely proper if they were said by Shui Man Kong, but for these words to come out from Shui Ki Honor's mouth, it seems as though Shui Ki Honor was overestimating her status. When lowering his head to look at Shui Ki Honor, he noticed that Shui Ki Honor's expression was solemn but her eyes were rolling about quickly. Ling Tian immediately understood her intentions. He never imagined that before the battle even ended, Shui Ki Honor was already trying to seek benefits for him. She was obviously afraid that he might be too embarrassed to open his mouth and thus decided to take the initiative. Ling Tian could not help but laugh in his heart. For me to spend such a great deal of effort and not receive anything in return, wouldn't I be suffering a huge loss? When it is time for me to open my mouth, my heart definitely wouldn't turn soft regardless of who I'm facing. As for being embarrassed, just what is that? I have never heard of it before a broken bar. Despite thinking about that, 
Ling Tian was truly extremely moved by Shui Qi Honor's thoughts and affection. At the very start, the two of them were enemies and Shui Qi Honor's heart was completely aligned with the interests of her family. But now, when choosing between her family and him, Shui Qi Honor had chosen him without any hesitation. For her to have such a drastic change in character, just how much did she have to go through? Ling Tian was extremely satisfied, happy, and gratified. Shui Man Kong let out a loud laugh, Ruer, since things have already developed to such a point, what are you still worried about? Besides, with young noble Ling's strength, even if I want to renege on my words, do you think I will be able to do so? Do you think that he will care if I renege on my words? Do you think there is any meaning? Shui Ki Honor giggled and her face flushed red. Ling Tian chuckled, Ruer. You are looking down on your father too much. Didn't you realize something extremely strange? What? Shui Ki Honor was a little puzzled. Following which, she stomped her feet in anger. Only my father? Ling Tian chuckled and rubbed his nose. Did you realize that despite the countless miserable shrieks from the beginning of the battle, not a single Shui family member has appeared to check on what is going on? Your father has already made sufficient preparations. As he said that, he looked towards Shui Man Kong with a smile that didn't seem like a smile. He was only waiting for a sharp weapon. This time, I will willingly allow someone to make use of me for the first time in my life. Shui Man Kong began coughing awkwardly. Young Noble Ling is wise indeed. Ah uh ah, -uh, you are wise indeed. Shui Ki Honor never imagined that her father already had some tricks up his sleeves and had even hidden it from her. She could not help but turn around in anger from him with two cold snorts. However, with regards to Ling Tian saying that he willingly allowed someone to make use of him, she immediately jumped to the conclusion that Ling Tian was only willing to be made use of because of his love for her. However, she was truly thinking too highly of Ling Tian. Ling Tian was only thinking of how he could make the Shui family owe him as much as possible. He was only thinking about how he could seize authority in the Shui family to command their forces. The more they owed him the merrier. Right at this moment, a series of miserable groans could be heard in the hall. Ling Jian and the four assassins kept their weapons and walked over to Ling Tian's side with their faces and bodies entirely covered with blood. In the hall behind them, there wasn't a single living person left behind. Originally, there could have been someone left, Shui Ki on high who had soiled himself from fear. A pity the sprat scuts were truly too cowardly. Not only did he soil his bands in fear, he was even frightened to death. Young noble, a couple of them escaped. Should we give chase? Ling Jian asked respectfully. There's no need. Senior family head Shui will naturally take care of the loose ends. Have you guys gotten addicted to killing? Ling Tian laughed as he looked at his top subordinate. That's right. Little brother Ling had already given so much for my Shui family. How can we let little brother Ling expend so much effort for such small things? Shui Man Kong looked at Ling Jian and said with sincerity. While Shui Man Kong's strength wasn't a match for Ling Jian, his eyesight was still keen. Facing an expert who was a match for Shui Wubo, Shui Man Kong would naturally speak carefully. That's the best. Ling Jian coughed dryly and stood by Ling Jian's side silently. All five of them were injured and the strongest Ling Jian was actually the one who had the most injuries. In order to prevent his brothers from suffering injuries, he had single-handedly fought off the majority of the top-notch experts. He had more than 10 open wounds all over his body and he had also suffered from severe internal injuries. The other four assassins were also riddled with injuries all over but not a single one of them let out a single groan of weakness. However, being able to face the simultaneous attack of almost 200 experts and achieve such a stunning victory, Shui Man Kong and the others were already dumbfounded. Men, quickly treat the injuries of our five brothers. Shui Man Kong roared. The subordinates of the Shui family members flooded into the hall from all directions. All of them were immediately startled the moment they entered, and there were some others who could not help but run out to puke shortly after. The whole hall was littered with dismembered limbs and fresh blood painted the walls. The puddles of blood in the hall had formed a small pond which was gradually expanding. This was no different from a living hell. Shui Man Kong looked towards Ling Tian and said, 
Let them clean up this place and we can talk in the inner hall. With his gaze sweeping past the other Shui family members, he said, The six elders, please follow me. As for the rest, all of you are dismissed. Remember to keep your lips sealed about the matters today. All of them acknowledged Shui Man Kong's words in unison. In a place not too far away from the Great Hall, five black-robed experts hiding in the dark glanced at each other and whispered, the killing is over. It seems like there isn't a need for us to take action. Shut up. Another person bellowed, only when we see young noble and brother Jian walk out safely can we be sure that everything is fine. Before that, anything can happen. Don't say a thing and wait quietly. They were Ling Wen and his four helpers. For Ling Jian to bring Ling Jian, Feng, Yun, Lei and Dian with him to the Shui family, their strength was already sufficient. However, Ling Jian still left a trump card behind as contingency. If everything went smoothly and the direct descendants of the Shui family did not play any tricks, there wouldn't be a need for them to appear. However, if the Shui family wanted to take advantage of Ling Jian's fatigue and go back on their word, there would be another five of them hidden in the dark to ensure that nothing would go wrong. This wasn't because of his distrust in Shui Man Kong but the fact that they were currently in Heavenly Wind. With his status and position, even if Ling Jian had the heart to take a risk, he no longer had any right to take the risk. Ling Jian and the others insisted on rejecting the Shui family members from treating their injuries and helped each other to wrap up their injuries instead. They then stood behind Ling Jian without saying a single word. Even if they were in the safest place, as long as there were outsiders present, they would never leave Ling Jian's side. The cleansing is already over and there will no longer be internal strife within the Shui family from now on. Family head can take full control of the Shui family and this is truly a joyous event. Ling Jian regained his usual elegance and cupped his fists with a smile. For us to pacify the internal struggle within the family, it is all thanks to the aid of young noble Ling. If not, our Shui family would already be destroyed by this time. Shui Man Khan hurriedly cupped his fists in response. The more he looked at Ling Jian, the more satisfied he was. He was like a father-in-law sizing up his son-in-law. Even with Ling Jian's thick skin, he could not help but be a little embarrassed. We aren't outsiders and it is only right for Ling Jian to give aid. What Ling Jian meant was that since we already have an alliance, how can we be outsiders? That's right. Ha <laughs> ha a broken bar Shui Man Khan burst out laughing. That's right, that's right. We are going to be a true family very soon. This old man shall not stand on ceremony. He was obviously already treating himself as Ling Yan's father-in-law. Ling Yan was speechless. Shui Ki Honor's face flushed red and she dove into her father's embrace. Both father and daughter had the same thoughts. Ling Jian blinked his eyes and realized that his words were truly too easily misunderstood. While that wasn't his intention, he couldn't control what Shui Man Kong and Shui Ki Ong thought and thus couldn't blame them from having strange thoughts. The few elders from the Shui family looked at each other with an enlightened expression of, I finally understand what is going on, family head is truly amazing. Ling Jian looked at the few of them while sighing in his heart and decided not to make any explanations. With yellow mud staining his shorts, even if it wasn't SHT, he wouldn't be able to explain otherwise. Since things have developed to such an extent, young brother Ling can speak openly. The individuals seated in here are the core of my family and I have absolute trust in them. We can put in some effort for any big or small event in Heavenly Wind. Shui Man Kong looked at Ling Jian with a warm smile. His attitude was completely transformed. He still addressed Ling Jian as a young noble Ling previously but his address had changed to a young brother Ling so quickly. When talking about his plans, Ling Jian naturally would not stand on ceremony. With his body bent slightly forward, he smiled, after putting in so much effort, I naturally want to have some benefits. Little brother Ling can talk about all of your plans. As long as this old man is able to help you, I will definitely not hold anything back. Shui Man Kong's expression became solemn and made a solemn promise. If that's the case, I shall be straightforward. The members of the Sky Alliance are my men. From now on, the Shui family has to work together with my Sky Alliance. My condition is, I want a broken bar Ling Jian grit his teeth and his eyes flashed, 
a broken bar the whole heavenly wind continent. When it was time for him to raise his conditions, Ling Jian naturally wouldn't stand on ceremony. The whole hall was shocked. While Ling Jian did expend a great deal of energy to cleanse the Shui family and it can be said that he was the key factor which allowed them to turn the situation around, his condition was truly too much. After all, the entire heavenly wind continent contained a huge number of various powers and the number of grievances and hatred truly couldn't be explained clearly. If Shui Man Khan agreed to Ling Jian's condition, he would be giving up his superior status and pushing the Shui family to the heart of the troubles. The Shui family would definitely suffer huge losses as a result and they may end up suffering even more losses than cleansing their Shui family. After all, even if the side branch of the Shui family had emerged victorious in their internal battle, the Shui family was still the Shui family. But according to Ling Jian's conditions, the Shui family might disappear completely. Taking 10,000 steps back, even if the Shui family was around after the continent was united, their vitality would definitely be greatly harmed. However, the world would still belong to the Ling family at that time and they wouldn't be able to predict how Ling Jian would treat their Shui family. However, beyond all of their expectations or broken bar, Shui Man Kong stood up and paced around with his hands behind his back. After a short while, his eyes gleamed and he clenched his teeth. Looking at Ling Jian, a single word escaped his mouth, a broken bar all right, all right. This word had also stunned Ling Jian. He originally intended to raise an exorbitant condition and wait for Shui Man Kong to bargain with him. Who would have thought that Shui Man Kong did not even bother bargaining with him a broken bar? Family head. The various elders cried out together. Shui Man Kong raised his arm to stop them from saying anything else. Returning to his seat, Shui Man Kong said with a mellow tone, I have come to a decision. There isn't a need to say anything else. Shui Man Kong was both sighing and filled with excitement in his heart. With his son gone, it could be said that his Shui family no longer had any descendants to carry on its legacy. The only person left was his daughter. This was the first time that Ling Jian was raising conditions with him and for his daughter, so he had to accept Ling Jian's conditions regardless of what they were. Furthermore, it would be much better for the world to land in his son-in-law's hands rather than Yu Man Lu's hands, right? Thus, Shui Man Kong agreed without negotiating. Ling Jian and the others followed behind from afar while Ling Jian and Shui Man Kong walked side by side by side at the front. Shui Qiong lowered her head and followed behind them silently, not knowing what she was thinking about. As for Shui Man Kong and Ling Jian, they intentionally suppressed their volume. A broken bar the Sky Alliance is situated in Heavenly Wind Continent. On top of the strength of the Sky Alliance, it can be said that Sky Alliance is already deeply rooted in the continent and has far exceeded any powerhouse in Heavenly Wind. With the Wang Fu and Song families annihilated, the only powerhouse capable of fighting against the Sky Alliance would be my Shui family. With my Shui family forming an alliance with the Sky Alliance, there wouldn't be any power in the continent capable of stopping us. While there may be some powers overestimating their abilities and attempting to stop us, it wouldn't affect the overall situation. I can assure you about this. This was Shui Man Kong's voice. First, I will give a strict order to all the organizations affiliated with my Shui family to assist the Sky Alliance. At the same time, I will order my Shui family members to avoid participating in military or political affairs. For me to put my words in such a manner, does little brother Ling understand? Shui Man Kong walked forward slowly and said softly, I understand a bit. Ling Jian blinked his eyes and said, However, why wouldn't you allow the Shui family to participate in political and military affairs, even if the continent is united, while the Sky Alliance may be competent in battle? They aren't proficient in management. With the thousand years of foundation of the Shui family, even if your vitality is harmed from this cleansing event, I believe that your Shui family would be able to recover quickly. It would be best if the Shui family could provide a large amount of management staff and I will not find it inappropriate. Shui Man Kong looked at Ling Jian with a smile. Everyone understands that the greatest backing one can have is absolute strength. It isn't convenient for the Shui family to do so now. Even if we want to send out large numbers of talented managers, 
we will only do that after the continent is united. Besides, if our Shui family is going to interfere in political matters, there is only a single possibility, the Shui family is no longer around. At that time, we have to wait until the continent is united as well. If our Shui family participates in political affairs right now, it would be inevitable for them to form factions and grow arrogant from their deeds. Regardless of whether or not it is intentional, they would definitely end up having needless ambitions and cause unnecessary misunderstandings. I wouldn't be surprised if our Shui family ends up being destroyed because of this. Shui Man Kong's eyes glowed with wisdom. The backing of an aristocratic family would indicate endless support from the family. At that time, if an individual is able to grasp the authority of life and death, there wouldn't be many in the world capable of maintaining their rationality and cool. After you unite the entire continent, you would never allow the existence of an aristocratic family with such a large influence. At that time, it would be the calamity of the Shui family. You are the person who I have handed Ruer's lifetime of happiness to and as her father, I would naturally wish for both your happiness. However, I am still the family head of the Shui family and even if I know that the Shui family can no longer regain its former glory. I still wish for the Shui family to continue existing. At the very least, I hope that the world still knows of our Shui family before I close my eyes for the last time. Ling Tian truly praised Shui Man Kong's accurate sights and plans for the future. The direct descendants of a thousand-year-old family truly have their charisma. Shui Man Kong was like this as well as Yu Man Lu. Shui Man Kong looked at Shui Qi Honor and chuckled. Ling Tian. You are a talent capable of establishing a new empire. While I am confident that the authority of the Shui family would not have any changes during mine or Ruer's lifetime, I cannot allow my family's survival to be dependent on an emperor's temper. This is extremely risky and unwise. If I allow my Shui family to be in such a passive state, the future of my Shui family would definitely be filled with uncertainties and troubles. The moment we lose the Shui family would vanish forever. Thus, when you truly unite the entire continent, I will find an appropriate time to disperse our entire family. While Water of Heavenly Wind would still be around, the aristocratic Shui family would no longer exist. Only at that time would the Shui family be able to build a foundation in the military or political field. Chapter 662, Returning to Heavenly Star Ling Tian walked forward silently without saying a single thing. Shui Man Khan could give him a promise but he was unable to give Shui Man Khan any promise at the moment and he could not even reveal his true thoughts. For Shui Man Khan to be able to make such arrangements even before Ling Tian had united the continent, it was sufficient to show how far-sighted he was. Among the many people that Ling Tian knew, there weren't many who had foresight like Shui Man Kong. Only individuals like Yu Man Tang and Zhao Feng Han would be comparable to him. Since Shui Man Kong had such foresight, it would save him a great deal of trouble in the future and he would be able to ensure that the bloodline of the Shui family wouldn't be extinguished. Furthermore, Ling Tian owed Shui Man Kong another huge favor because of this. It was truly a good plan of his. Seeing that Ling Tian was silent, Shui Man Khan chuckled and continued, Everything I said will be matters for the future. Talking about fighting for hegemony over the world, Yu Man Lu truly cannot be underestimated. While the Ling family has the absolute advantage at this moment, if Yu Man Lu wants to fight you to the death, he would definitely be able to give you a heavy blow. Furthermore, it would be very likely for the war to continue if that's the case. With the war dragging on, it wouldn't be good for the world, families, or commoners. I have some advice that I hope little brother will consider. There may be unexpected benefits to it. Since Heavenly Wind isn't a problem, the main battlefield would naturally be back in Heavenly Star. Thus, even if Heavenly Wind is fully united, it is best for the continent to be under the banner of the Sky Alliance. I still have some influence in Heavenly Wind and I will definitely create a stable base for you as your backing. Even if you end up losing in Heavenly Star, you can lead a peaceful life in Heavenly Wind as King. If that's the case, you would be able to advance as you wish and retreat if there is a need. Of course, 
losing heavenly star and retreating to heavenly wind is a last resort measure. Ling Tian's eyes were narrowed to a slit and he listened from the start to the end without giving his opinion. As for what he was thinking about in his heart, nobody not broken bar. Three days later, Ling Tian, Ling Jian, Yu Bing Yan, Shui Qiang, and the others were on their way back to Heavenly Star. With the Shui family being weakened and both the Huang Fu and Song families disappearing, ambitious characters naturally rose up all around and the banners of war were rising all over the continent. However, all of these were developing in a way that was beneficial to the Sky Alliance. The effect of the alliance between the Sky Alliance and Shui family was far more than 1 plus 1 equals 2. In the Heavenly Wind Continent, this was truly an earth-shattering event. It wouldn't be too long before Heavenly Wind was united. At this moment, Ling Dian was already drifting in the middle of the ocean. As the spring winds blew harder and harder, Ling Tian's brows also became furrowed. Yu Bing Yan and Shui Qiang had both returned to their lover's side and were naturally overjoyed. However, they did not know what Ling Tian was frustrated about. Ling Tian was currently thinking. The bitter winter was already over and colors had returned to the land. This was the time when grass was abundant and the horses at their peak, ready to enter the battlefield. In the southeast, the Zhao family that suffered heavy losses would definitely not let matters rest so easily. As the number one financial magnate, the foundations of the Zhao family were robust and a battle was probably about to erupt. Ling Tian had his apprehensions about this problem. First, the attitude of his grandparents. Second, Zhao Yanzu who was caught in the middle between him and the Zhao family. Third, if the Zhao family unleashed their all-out counterattack. Yu Man Lu definitely wouldn't let go of this opportunity. At that time, would he be able to face the pincer attack of two enemies? Ling Tian let out a long sigh. He was truly trapped in a dilemma. The boundless sea surrounded him and whichever direction he looked towards, he could only see the boundless ocean connected to the blue skies. In another half a month, he would be returning to Heavenly Star. Laughter filled the cabin and a gleeful voice could be heard, two young madams. Do you think that advisor Ming will pester young noble Ling to ascend to the throne again when he returns? I remember that he chased young noble to the point he had no place to hide the last time. I have never witnessed young noble being reduced to such a miserable state before and it was truly amusing. However, those old men were also tired to the point they panted heavily with their tongues sticking out. Ha 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 a broken bar. Ling Tian's face immediately turned bitter. Why did I forget about this matter? His brows were furrowed even tighter and he let out another long sigh of broken bar. Yu Bing Yan's gentle voice could be heard laughing. However, this grandfather, father and son trio are truly odd. All other aristocratic families would fight for the throne to the point where they do not recognize familial ties but this trio avoids the throne like it is a plaque. They are truly an odd bunch. He a broken bar. Shui Ki Honor's voice was heard. This isn't a bad thing actually. If Danj becomes the emperor, I once heard someone say that he wants to have three palaces, six yards, 72 concubines and 3,000 BTS or broken bar. He dares. Yu Bing Yan immediately revealed her ferocious side, with elder sister Ling Chen and elder sister Li Zhu, as long as he dares to do that. They will let him attend his morning court session naked a broken bar. Ha <laughs> ha a broken bar. On the outside, Ling Tian's face was bitter to the point it was almost dripping with juice. Why would the usually gentle and sweet Yanner become such a ferocious lioness the moment she became my wife? Hayes, others would have a single lioness at home but he had broken bar as Ling Tian counted. His face turned sour. I have five lionesses in my family. Furthermore, they are the exceptionally ferocious breed. The two in front of me can already be considered the gentle own as a broken bar. On top of enjoying the fortune and bliss of so many women, he also had his share of unspeakable bitterness a broken bar. At the same time, the various powers in Heavenly Star had also begun their preparations after the bitter winter. The Ling family courtyard was naturally not an exception. Their preparatory work had already begun when the spring winds were blowing. During the bitter winter, even the wealthy Ling family that had a great stash of grain and weapons was still accumulating grain. Under Ming Lige's arrangements, the grain that they collected was directed in an orderly fashion towards the southeast, north, 
and northwest battle lines. The information net that Ling Jian had set up had also speedily begun their infiltration of the various locations. There was also the Crystal Pavilion that Ling Jian had set up in secret to aid Ling Jian in collecting information. The Crystal Pavilion not only provided information to Ling Jian but also provided seemingly accurate information to the Yuan Zhao families. All of this information which had falsehoods mixed within the truths and truths mixed within the falsehoods had created a huge disturbance for the Zhou and Yu family. Almost every day, a large number of analysts would gather together to analyze and break down the information that they received. In truth, only 80% of the information that they gathered was accurate and only such information was worth the Yu and Zhao family spending large amounts of gold to purchase. However, the 80% truth being mixed with 20% falsehoods truly gave the analysts a huge headache. Ling Chen and Li Zhu were leading extremely casual lives. At times, they would go out for a stroll or go fishing by the lake. Their casual lifestyle truly incited the envy of Zhe Yan Zhu. After she passed down instructions to the more than a thousand staff in the accounting department, she openly joined the two other girls. Ling Jian's grandparents were even more outrageous. By making use of Ling Jian's absence, they sent Princess Zhao Yu to the Ling family courtyard with the intention of letting her build relationships with Ling Jian's other ladies. As such, the four ladies had just enough players for a game of mahjong. However, their leisurely lifestyle had finally incited Ming Lijia's protest. Ming Lijia and all the other ministers of the court had also backed Ming Lijia's protest. During this time, the matter of the imperial throne became even more impossible to solve. Duke Ling and Ling Zhao had each said a wait for Danner to come back before making a decision before disappearing without a trace. All the ministers felt as though they had strength but nowhere to exert it and were extremely depressed. Until one day when the spring winds blew and greens could be seen growing on the trees, Li Zhu and Ling Chen ordered hundreds of information gathering elites towards the southeast. Among them were seven elite assassins that Ling Jian had trained. From that day on, the Ling family courtyard had meetings day and night, be it day or night. Commotion and chattering could be heard all over the courtyard. The Ling family courtyard had once again entered into a state of full alert. During this period, Duke Ling and Zhao Feng Han had also exchanged a couple of letters. While the exact details of the letters were unknown, by the frustrated appearances of Duke Ling, the letters probably weren't too optimistic. In this short month, the Ling family courtyard and Ling residents would capture assassins or scouts almost every day. The sheer quantity of these scouts and assassins had made even Li Zhu and Ling Kai speechless. News finally arrived and 1,500,000 soldiers of the Zhao family killed their way towards the Heavenly Water Ravine Pass. The flags fluttered proudly in the winds and their forces were like an endless stream. It seemed like this battle was one that they would not be able to avoid. Right at this moment, News arrived at the Ling family. The generational battle between the Yu and Shui family was over. Family head Yu Man Lu had already returned to Bright Jade City. This news immediately energized everyone in the Ling family. Ling Jian was about to return. The most unexpected event was that five days after Yu Man Lu's return, he immediately announced to the world that he was about to ascend to the throne and establish the A Divine Jade Empire and crowned himself as a heaven destroying emperor. Being clad in yellow robes, he ruled over the north. Following which, the Yu family appointed second master Yu Manting as the A Moon Plucking Marshal and led 200,000 soldiers to the Moon Deity Empire. The genius commander of the younger generation, Xi Mansa, led 100,000 soldiers to stabilize the continent. Western Han and the Wu Empire also gradually regained its peace and became part of the Divine Jade Empire. The army of the Yu family marched their way down south and established their camp in the Swallow County and Morning Soul Mountain. Their weapons were pointed directly at sky bearing. All of a sudden, the east, west, and North sent out an emergency signal. The situation was extremely intense and war could break out at any moment. With regards to how they would deal with the Zhao family in future was already an outcome that was determined. The only thing they did not understand was the 1,500,000 men army of the Zhao family. If the Zhao family insists on battling them, while the Ling family would have the confidence and strength to emerge victorious. The Ling family would definitely have to pay a huge price. But at that time, 
the Zhao family would definitely be facing the bloody revenge of the Ling army. The Zhao family's ending would be the destruction of their family and the loss of their lineage. There wouldn't be another path for them, even if the upper echelons wanted to spare the Zhao family, they wouldn't be able to give an explanation to the warriors on the battlefield. Because of this, not only was Zhao Yanzu extremely frustrated, even Ling Chen and Li Zhu were trapped in a dilemma. Regardless of how well he acted, from the way he wasn't willing to exterminate the Zhao family from beginning to the end, it was enough to show how much he cared about the relationship between his grandparents and the Zhao family. Thus, even if the Ling family courtyard had absolute confidence of victory, they were still unable to come up with a plan. It wasn't because they weren't confident of their victory but because they were worried about what they should do after a victory. The only way to achieve a happy ending would be for the Zhao family to surrender. Surrender? Was it possible? Tonight, Ling Chen hurriedly rushed into Li Zhu's room and after having a secret conversation, Li Zhu slapped the table in praise. Following that, Li Zhu and Ling Chen rushed over to Yan Zhu's room to repeat what they had discussed. After Zhao Yan Zhu, who was brooding over her family being enemies with the Ling family, heard what they said, her eyes lit up and her mood immediately became better. The moody clouds all over her face had also disappeared. Second Master Zhao Feng Yang had already been locked up in the Ling family courtyard for half a year and had recovered from all his previous injuries. With the tight security of the Ling family courtyard, Zhao Feng Yang knew that it was impossible for him to escape and thus did not even bother trying. Over time, Zhao Feng Yang gradually settled down and began spending his time reading, drinking tea, or cultivating. With his heart being calmed down, not only did his cultivation take a step forward, but his mental state also took a huge step forward. It was in the night and the guards by the door also began yawning. Placing the book in his hands down, Zhao Feng Yang let out a sigh and stretched lazily. I wonder how are things on the outside? The sky is already becoming warm and the war is probably going to begin right? Big Brother will probably be the one leading the soldiers personally this time. I wonder what are the chances of victory? After pondering for a moment, he shook his head with a smile. It was probably best for him to remain ignorant. With him being held captive, he no longer had his freedom. What was the point of him knowing so much? Letting out a bitter laugh, he walked over to the bedside and prepared to go to bed. All of a sudden, the sound of light footsteps could be heard from the outside. Following that, a light thud could be heard at the door as though someone fell down. Following that, someone knocked on the stone door twice. Zhao Feng Yang felt his heart palpitate. Could it be that the family has sent experts to save me? However, with this place being so heavily guarded, how were they be able to infiltrate their way here? Could it be a scheme by Ling Qian? In truth, the Zhao family had sent many experts to save Zhao Feng Yang over the past three months. It was a pity that under the arrangements of Ling Qian and Li Zhu, any experts who came would not be able to return alive. The Zhao family had even sent out two waves of experts from outside heavens but they returned in Fei Luria Broken Bar No. Not a single one of them returned. Just as he was pondering over the matter, two knocks could be heard on the door. Zhao Feng Yang hesitated for a moment before walking forward to open the door. A skinny black robed figure entered the room with a wisp of fragrance. Second grandfather, hurry up and leave with me. This was Zhao Yan's Zhu's voice. Xuer, what are you doing here? What are you playing? Zhao Feng Yang's eyes were filled with doubt. Zhao Yan Zhu's presence in the Ling family courtyard was something that Zhao Feng Yang was aware of and he had even met her a few times. With regards to his granddaughter, Zhao Feng Yang was completely helpless. Furthermore, for Zhao Yan Zhu to remain here without a proper status, it truly threw the face of the Zhao family. Thus, he never showed Zhao Yan Zhu a good attitude. We can talk after leaving. Zhao Yan Zhu sounded very anxious. No. Zhao Feng Yang was immediately filled with suspicion. Make yourself clear first before we leave. At the very most, I just wouldn't leave. It won't matter even if you are found, right? Zhao Feng Yang would never believe that Zhao Yan Zhu would risk Ling Qian's anger and allow him to leave secretly. Zhao Yan Zhu stomped her feet and said, Second Grandfather, are you becoming muddled? Do you think that I will harm you? Besides, 
you have been trapped here for such a long time and there isn't any reason for you to ask anything right now. The only reason why Xwar will take such a huge risk to save you is because of a stunning change in the Zhao family. Regardless of how dissatisfied I am with the family, I am still a daughter of the Zhao family. Could it be that I will harm my very own family? Zhao Feng Yang snorted. Women will always be on the side of their beloved man. At the same time, he also felt that it wasn't too bad of an idea for him to leave the place first. At the very most, he would just be recaptured. I just need to ignore any question that she asks me. Besides, even if I answer her, would Ling Jian dare to believe me? Changing into the set of black robes that Jia Yan Zhu brought for him. Jia Feng Yang did not have much hope of escaping. He only treated it as taking a calm stroll on the outside and followed Jia Yan Zhu out. Just when he walked out of the hills, a cool breeze blew past. Jia Feng Yang took in a deep breath of air as the cool winds blew past his face. It had truly been a long time since he enjoyed such a cool breeze. Stop there. Who are you? A cold voice sounded. Following this. A black figure appeared like a spirit with a sword gleaming in his hands. He was the expert under Ling Tian. Ling Kai. Me. Jia Yan Zhu replied with a calm voice. So it is Miss Zhou? Ling Kai's voice became respectful. I wonder where Miss Zhou is going so late in the night? Why are you dressed in black all over? Are you practicing your movement techniques? I can't sleep. With the two families about to go to war. My heart is in a mess and I am here to take a walk. Should I wear white and so scare people in the night? Are you the one on duty today? Yesterday a Ling Wu was on duty. Jia Yan Zhu let out a sigh. Ling Kai chuckled. This subordinate is the one on duty today. Young Noble always says that there will always be a way out. There is no need for Miss to be so anxious. Jia Yan Zhu smiled and said. Just go and do what you have to. I will just walk around to walk my troubles away. Ling Kai acknowledged her words before looking at Jia Feng Yang in black robes. This is? Jia Yan Zhu chuckled and said, He, he is the spy that the Jia family sent to contact me. As he heard those words, Jia Yan Zhu burst out into a cold sweat. While Jia Feng Yang truly do not believe that Jia Yan Zhu was here to save him, he did have a trace of hope in his heart. Hearing Jia Yan Zhu saying such words suddenly, how could he not be startled? However, Ling Kai burst out laughing in response, Miss Zhao really knows how to joke. It is getting late already. Please take care Miss. He then cupped his fists and drifted away in the winds without bothering to continue questioning Jia Yan Zhu. Chapter 663, Escape at Last While Zhao Feng Yang mentioned that he did not trust Jia Yan Zhu at all, and even more so did not have any intentions to escape, he still trembled and and broke out in a cold sweat when Ling Kai's piercingly cold gaze landed on him. By just walking forward for a short distance, before exiting the Ling family courtyard, they actually ran into more than 10 patrol checkpoints. Luckily, Jia Yan Zhu was able to deal with the situation each time. They could be said to have escaped by the skin of their teeth. Even with his position as the second in command of the Zhao family, Jia Feng Yang was still dumbstruck. To think that the defensive measures of the Ling family courtyard would be so extensive and the security measures so close-knit. This was something the Zhao family could not compare to. Furthermore, this was not the core area of the Ling family courtyard. Ling Yan would definitely have placed extra measures around the core areas. As for the Zhao family, the defenses around the head of the family, Zhao Feng Han, were merely only comparable to that of the outer layer of the Ling family courtyard. It was with difficulty that they escaped from the Ling family courtyard and grabbed a couple of horses, galloping out for a good 10 miles before Jia Yan Zhu finally slowed down. She faced Zhao Feng Yang as she said, Second uncle. Xwer will send you along from here. Here are also 200 tails of silver, as well as 3,000 tails of banknotes. I wish Second Uncle a safe fruit home. Jia Feng Yang's heart trembled as he replied, Xwer, how long have you prepared for this operation? Jia Yan Zhu's face dimmed. I estimate it took 10 days or more. Every few days, I would make the excuse of going out to take a breath of fresh air because of my restlessness to set up this scenario. If there had been any mistakes made, 
I would not have been able to allow a second uncle to escape so easily. The strict checks of the Ling family courtyard previously were all made by the sentries in the open. There are still plenty of hidden sentries that did not step out because they discovered my identity. Zhao Feng Yang sucked in a breath of cold air as he exclaimed, Those were not all the sentries present. Zhao Yan Zhu replied, That's right, previously, our family sent a few experts including those from the above heavens sack to save second uncle, but they could not even take a step inside. You can imagine the difficulty to infiltrate this place. Zhao Feng Yang suddenly realized something and asked, You are not going back with me? Zhao Yan Zhu let out a distressed smile. Yanner is already tied to the Ling family courtyard. I only hope that second uncle can return to the family safely and guard our ancestral home well. I have no other requests. A surge of emotions welled up from Zhao Feng Yang's heart. Xwer, now that you've secretly let me go, how could Ling Jian still allow you to stay? Furthermore, with so many people already interrogating you along the way, the moment they find out that I'm gone, the suspicions will definitely land on you. Could it be that you're afflicted with some drug that Ling Jian has given you that you have to be controlled by him? Zhao Yan Zhu laughed in return. That's right, Xuer is afflicted with this poison called love, and it's incurable. There's no need to say anything else, second uncle. Tanja's position in my heart is way above yours. A month earlier, I would never have dared to attempt to save you. But right now, Seeing our all family in danger of being wiped off this world, and with my warning letters probably being unable to be sent out, the only method I have left is to attempt this prison break. There is no other way. Zhao Feng Yang replied in confusion, what sort of life-threatening peril? If our all family just hunkers down, we can stay safe by utilizing the 3,000 miles of mountain ranges and rivers. Even with his heaven-defying ability, what can Ling Jian do to us? Zhao Yan Zhu looked pensive as she explained, Second uncle may be unaware, but there's a secret to Tenji's success that I've also recently just figured out. Over the past month, we've heard explosion after explosion for no reason. At the start, I thought they were merely practicing with their cannons, but over many days, I got curious and went over to take a look. It was then that I discovered this heaven-shaking secret. If you do not take precautions against it, I'm afraid the annihilation of the Zhao family will be nigh. Zhao Feng Yang jumped up in shock as he exclaimed, I also heard the explosions, weren't they from the cannons? What exactly are they? Zhao Yan Zhu replied, Does second uncle still remember the Blue Jade River being cut off for no apparent reason? flooding the entire heavenly water ravine pass, such a grand and imposing pass, destroyed in a night? Zhao Feng Yang nodded, spitting out hatefully, of course I remember. It was because of this that my army was rooted, 400,000 strong reduced to nothing. How could I forget? I can only blame the heavens for making a fool out of man, to actually perform such an act during that crucial moment. To think that the heavens would even send down lightning to hack apart the mountain, blocking the entire Blue Jade River. Hayes, could this be the will of the heavens itself? Zhao Yan Zhu laughed in response. She answered him, how could there be such a thing? Let me tell you, second uncle, the blockage at Blue Jade River was caused by the hands of man. Does second uncle believe it? A work of man? While mankind is powerful, to move such a huge mountain would definitely waste a lot of time and only those with Herculean strength would be able to do that. How is it possible to be completed in such a short time? Zhao Feng Yang was dumbstruck. But the truth is right there. And therein lies their secret. Zhao Yan Zhu's expression was grave as she explained, those explosions we heard were actually a new kind of weapon that the Ling family courtyard was testing out. When Tanj toppled the mountain that blockaded the Blue Jade River, it was the first batch of that secret weapon. When they are used, Besieging a city or uprooting a stronghold will become as easy as pie, as though just stretching your hand out to receive the rewards. Even changing the landscape would require no more than two or three days of time. Even a 100,000 strong army could be eliminated at the snap of their fingers. There's actually something like that? Zhao Feng Yang remained in doubt. Zhao Yan Zhu seemed to ponder about something, before suddenly urging her horse and galloping out 20 over miles before stopping her horse. Leveling her gaze towards Zhao Feng Yang's confused face, 
she carefully took out two black balls the size of a human fist. They were round and shiny and looked extremely heavy, as though they were made completely up of metal. There were weird patterns engraved around the surface, as well as a weirdly shaped handle on the side. This is the so-called secret weapon. I begged it from the Lee Su, who is the head manager. The threat level to one's life is high. Just one of these little things could cause harm to tens, if not hundreds of people. Yan Zhu solemnly stated, as for the secret factory in charge of churning this toy out, if not for its difficulty as well as the high cost, would have long ago mass produced this thing. Right now, they can only produce three of these metal balls in one day. But even if it's just three of them, to use them to siege a stronghold would make the job as easy as flipping over one's hand. Just by this little toy, Feng Yang received one of them, tossing it in his hand as he weighed it, before suspiciously remarking, even if this is purely made up of metal, how many people can it kill? Xwer, do you think your second uncle is so good to bully? Yan Zhu looked around her, before muttering, we should be at a far enough distance, such that they will not be able to hear it. All right. I'll demonstrate once for second uncle. As she spoke, she took the ball in his hand, fiddling with it, before curling her arm and throwing it far into the distance. In midair, it looked like a streak of sparks, as it landed below a huge tree which required over three to four people to hug, hundreds of feet away. Feng Yang snorted, feeling impatient, but he held his breath as he watched the antics of Yan Zhu. Suddenly, with no warning whatsoever, a huge shockwave rocked the area, the origin coming from where the piece of metal handed. With a piercing white glow, the huge tree let out a loud jaw-clinching screech and toppled over. With no preparation, Ya Feng Yang only heard a A Hong sound before losing all his hearing. It was as though there existed millions of mosquitoes buzzing at his ears. A snort was heard as he exhaled, coupled with a gout of blood flowing from his nostrils. The war horse let out a loud neigh rearing up despite a person on its back, nearly toppling the rider. Yan Zhu had long opened her mouth and stuffed her ears, and thus was spared the misery. After the explosion, they rode their horses over, only to see the huge tree had shattered to bits and pieces, with a huge crater in the ground. In the surrounding trees, shrapnel could be seen decorating the tree trunks. Ya Feng Yang stared mutely in shock. If such a thing was used on the battlefield, the results would be broken bar frightening a broken bar. How could there still be a chance for the Zhao family to win? Even worse, they might not even get the wish to simply huddle in a corner and sit it out. Even if they wish to hunker down, no matter how steadfast their stronghold might be, what use would it be? In front of such a secret weapon, everything would crumble like a piece of paper. If Ling Jian's troops brought these toys against them, the Zhao family would indeed be finished with the possibility of them being totally wiped out. How could such a thing be resisted by flesh and bones? Yan Zhu had a heavy expression as she spoke, it was precisely because I found out such a thing, that I realized that it would be an unimpeded road for the Ling family to conquer all under the heavens. If our family continues to obstinately cling onto our current course, I'm afraid a broken bar she shook her head, not finishing her sentence, instead changing the topic. That's why I took this risk, to save second uncle to return to our family. It would be better for you to plan what will be our future course of action. The earlier the better. With this thing, where can we go? What else can we do? Ya Feng Yang revealed a downcast look. After witnessing the enormous impact of the weapon, he no longer harbored any hope for the Zhao family's future. Could it be that we really have to surrender to the Ling family? Throw away the hard work of all our ancestors, to abandon our Zhao family's foundation of broken bar. Ya Feng Yang's listless eyes suddenly sparkled, and he exclaimed, Xwer, since you could get your hands on one, then if you could get a few more, or even get the manufacturing method, with the financial capability of our Zhao family. We could overturn all under the heavens a broken bar. Second uncle, are you muddled? Let's not talk about me going against Dange and setting you free today. This goes against my own conscience, and even if I wanted to, I don't have the ability. The reason why we've only been hearing the sounds was because all the manufacturing was done in an extremely private and secretive location, with no method to remove anything from that area. What I possess now is merely a gift from Sister Lizu. 
As for the method, even if we have it, who in the family would understand how to make it? Xiao Yan Zhu's face had an agonized expression. With all Feng Yang's intelligence, he definitely understood the reasoning. The moment Yan Zhu spoke, he immediately came to his senses, with a coldness spreading in his heart. I'll send you off at this point. Second uncle, you had best return quickly. This is also my first time using this, and I underestimated the ferocity of this toy. I'm afraid the noise made just now would definitely attract someone to investigate. It's one thing if they discover you, but our family's millennium of foundation cannot be destroyed just like that. Yao Yan Zhu sincerely urged. Yao Feng Yang snapped out of his reverie. That's right, I'll rush back to the family immediately. This matter needs to be discussed with elder brother, and how we should proceed from here. As he spoke, he looked deeply at Yao Yan Zhu, Xuer, it's been hard on you. You have to endure when you return to the Ling family. Do not give up even when faced with grievances. The last line of the Zhao family lies with you. Yao Yan Zhu turned her face away, replying, Second uncle, please hurry. The night is long, and dreams are plenty. Now that the East is about to break into war, this weapon will be brought to the front lines. Second uncle, you have to be careful, and take care of yourself. Hearing that such a weapon would be brought to the front lines of the war on the Eastern Front, Yao Feng Yang could not help but exclaim, immediately bidding farewell and galloping away as fast as he could. In a few moments, he vanished into the darkness of the night. As Yao Yan Zhu watched Yao Feng Yang leave, she could not help but let out a despondent sigh. What's wrong, sister? The plan went extremely smoothly, so why are you sighing? A warm voice, carried lightly by the wind, laughed as it rang out. It was precisely Ling Chen's voice. With a flash of a white shadow, Ling Chen, Li Zhu, and Ling Kai all appeared behind Jia Yan Zhu. Jia Yan Zhu strangely did not appear surprised. She merely sighed remotely, her brows tightly furrowed as she spoke, After all, I'm a daughter of the Jia family. To trick my seniors like this, I definitely feel guilty in my heart. Li Zhu reassured her, which sentence of sisters was not an actual truth. Why do you say that you were deceiving him? In contrast, sister could have said to help get a great marriage to the Zhao family. To put it bluntly, if war really breaks out between us, we can only hope for a decisive victory, and we'll definitely take out these toys into the battlefield. That would be the true Armageddon for the Zhao family. Right now, if Zhao Feng Yang brings back this news, I believe the entire family will make the correct decision. At that time, both parties can avoid harming each other and settle the affair through peaceful means. Sister can also stay at Danja's side in assurance, which of this is not a cause for celebration. Yao Yan Zhu's face immediately blushed to deep red. Ling Chen lightly smiled as she picked up, there are good logic and reason behind what Sister Li Zhu said. Little sister does not need to put this matter against your conscience. The reason as to why we did so was definitely not to harm the Zhao family. This fact does not change. She then turned to Li Zhu with furrowed brows as she questioned. However, regarding the weapon, just the statement from Zhao Feng Yang will not be enough. How about bringing out a batch of those to showcase their prowess at the Heavenly Water Revenge Pass? giving the Zhao family troops this bitter pill to swallow. This case, coupled with the news that Zhao Feng Yang brought back, will allow the upper echelons of the family to be completely persuaded. Or else, there could be a situation where undue delays may bring trouble. Li Zhu nodded her head, deep in thought, and then she smiled. This ought to be done. Ling Kai eagerly interjected, Sister Chen, can I be responsible for this task? Looking over at Ling Kai, Ling Chen merely replied dryly, You had better stay at home and take care of your dear. At least, before the young noble and Ling Jian return, you can forget about heading off to any place. I'll personally handle this matter myself. Ling Kai's face immediately soured. Having heard from Jia Yan Zhu that on the Eastern Front, no matter the Ling family or the Zhao family, they had already made ample preparations to start the war. At any moment, the brutal flames of war could ravage the entire place. So long as the chief commander general of either side wished to start the war, and once the war started, there would not be any way to salvage the situation. As such, Yao Feng Yang was currently in an extremely anxious mood, 
as he rushed without stopping all the way towards the east, Ma Feng Yang indeed lived up to his name as a wise and knowledgeable person. In order to return safely, he even changed his disguise many times along the way, masquerading as many of the commoner classes. He thought that with this method, it was a surefire way to escape any sort of detection. However, his every move was actually still under scrutiny. The moment the second head of the Zhao family escaped, news had spread from the Ling family courtyard, and the guards were deployed, forming a net to recapture him. Every step of Zhao Feng Yang's journey could be Chapter 664, Preparing to Set Up an Empire The flaps of the tent opened up and a couple of generals rushed into the tent with their faces ashen and blood all over. Reporting to Marshal, the Ling army used some secret weapon and caused massive damage to our army. Our brothers in the front cannot hold on for much longer, may Marshal make a decision soon. Secret weapon? What secret weapon? Zhao Jian Feng frowned with his face pale. He could feel the tremors of the earth previously and the generals flooding in had confirmed his worries. Looking at his subordinates frightened expressions, he could not help but be furious. Isn't it just a large commotion? Look at how all of you are acting. How useless. Yet broken bar s, this subordinate saw black pieces being thrown over before a series of explosions sounded over the battlefield. Countless brothers were immediately reduced to a pile of mush and died without a complete corpse, said a burly man with shards and fragments embedded on his chest. Blood trailed down from the corner of his lips with a pathetic expression on his face. We did not even see where the enemies were and we died an unknowing death. Furthermore, all of our brothers died without even a complete corpse. Some of them even had their bones completely reduced to dust without anything left behind. It was like the descent of a lightning deity and many of our brothers at the front have been scared silly or broken bar. Silence filled the entire tent. Jian Feng Han's eyes flashed with coldness and he hollered, Audacious. You actually dare to spread heresy and disturb the morale of my army. Men. Push him out and execute him in public. Anyone who disturbs the morale of the army shall be executed without mercy. The soldiers by the side immediately took a few steps forward to capture the burly man. That burly man seemed to have been scared silly and did not even attempt to fight back as he muttered, A broken bar the descent of the lightning dih a broken bar. Ha Feng Yang let out a long sigh and said with a tinge of depression, Let him go. There isn't a need to continue lying to ourselves already. For me to escape danger this time, I only treated it as taking a chance. Frogs were to let me go and inform me about the secret weapon of the Ling family was no more than a scheme to defeat the Zhao family without a fight. Who would have thought that such an invincible killing weapon would have spread all across the Ling army? How can mere human strength be a match for such a killing weapon? How would our family be able to fight against such a weapon? Do the heavens want our demise? Ma Jian Feng looked at Ma Feng Yang with a doubtful expression, Why does Second Master say such words? Even if the secret weapon of the Ling family is powerful, our Zhao family still has a million soldiers behind us. Even if we use a human wave method to swarm them, we would be able to drown them with our numbers. This brat has already been scared silly by the enemy's tricks and there is no pity to kill him. For him to mess up the morale of our army, what is the point of leaving him alive? Idiot! Didn't you personally witness the strength of that killing weapon? How dare you spout such outrageous words? Do you truly want to destroy our family? Ma Feng Yang hollered. He then stood up and ordered, from now on, the entire army shall stop battling and guard our camp. Check the casualties of our camp and stabilize the morale while awaiting orders. None of you are allowed to make any action without any orders. None of you are allowed to engage in battle with the Ling army. Anyone who defies my orders shall be executed without mercy. He then turned around and glared at Ji and Feng with a cold gaze. This order applies, regardless of who you are. As for the matters regarding the war, it will have to wait for me to return to the Zhao family. A decision will be made after I discuss this matter with my big brother. This is an order. We listen and obey second master's orders. Ma Jian Feng hurriedly stood up straight and accepted the military order. Ma Feng Yang's prestige in the army was above that of Zhao Feng Han. With him giving these strict orders, 
not a single person would dare to defy him. It was also thankfully so broken bar. With his nightmares turning real, Feng Yang became extremely anxious. Not to mention resting and having a meal, he did not even take a sip of water before rushing back to the southeast. Right at this moment, Ling Jian who had been sailing on top of the surface of the ocean had finally arrived in Heavenly Star. Ling Jian did not waste a single day when he was on the ocean because he had another peerless expert accompanying him. This peerless expert was naturally the number one expert in the world, justice. Regardless of whether it is in the realm of martial arts or medicinal arts, Justice was not an individual who would accept being number two. He could clearly sense that Ling Jian had achieved a huge breakthrough in his trip to Heavenly Wind but had another huge drawback. His cultivation had achieved a huge breakthrough but his personal realm had not caught up to his cultivation thus resulting in great disharmony. While his cultivation could be raised through fortuitous encounters, his personal realm required the accumulation and understanding of many years. The increase of one's cultivation did not indicate the increase of one's strength. In truth, Ling Jian's cultivation had indeed increased rapidly and had even exceeded justice. However, after meeting fortuitous encounters one after another, his cultivation had far exceeded his personal realm. While the danger wasn't revealed at the moment and he would be able to easily deal with those weaker than him, the moment he deals with an expert of his level or in just a slight bit weaker than him, even if he can attain victory, his heart demons would definitely be unleashed. With his martial arts at such a level, his heart demon was something that he would not be able to avoid. Before Ling Jian achieving a breakthrough, his mental state was far above his cultivation level. But after achieving this fortuitous encounter, his cultivation shot forward like a rocket and his mental state was now behind his cultivation realm. It can be seen just how big of a benefit Ling Jian had received. Ling Yang was also a martial arts expert and he had also overlooked this matter before. He had truly trapped himself in a hazy obstruction because of the rocketing advancement of his cultivation. After justice reminded him of his flaw, Ling Yang naturally understood the simple logic immediately. Thus, he spent the past month cultivating his heart and frequently requested pointers from justice. While his cultivation was still not in complete unison with his mental state, he was no longer in danger of experiencing cultivation deviation. When his mental state was in complete unison with his cultivation, Ling Jian would be invincible in the entire world. Even Justice had to admit that Ling Jian's present cultivation was one that no one had ever been able to achieve from the ancient times until now. Before Ling Jian could even enjoy his welcoming ceremony after disembarking from the ship, he received two different letters from Duke Ling and Marshal Ling Zhou. The contents of their letters were the same, quickly return to sky bearing and prepare to set up the empire. It seems like Duke Ling finally couldn't withstand the pressure from the various ministers and was about to ascend to the throne. This news allowed Ling Jian to heave a huge sigh of relief. As an empire, the position of the emperor had truly been vacant for far too long. Regardless of whether it was in political or military matters, something seemed extremely wrong without a sacred decree. It just didn't seem proper enough. From now on, it was time for the empire with surname Ling to rise up. Ling Yan was truly overjoyed. While his grandfather wasn't young anymore, under his meticulous care, it was definitely possible for his grandfather to stay on the throne for a good 10 plus years. After his grandfather, there was still his father and his father would probably be able to hold on for a good 20 years. When it was time for him to ascend to the throne, it would probably be a good 30 years later. At that time, he would quickly find his Chapter 665, Divine Prefecture Empire. After accompanying Zhao Yu into the Ling family courtyard and taking a short break, Ling Jian immediately sent someone to gather Li Zhu and the other ladies to his study saying that he had something to discuss with them. This wasn't an excuse either as Duke Ling had given Ling Jian a mission to come up with a striking name for their Ling family's empire. Ling Jian naturally did not dare to delay matters. If he ended up frustrating his grandfather and his grandfather gives an eater to pass the throne to him, then his leisurely days would be over. Passing down the throne to his grandson and not his son wasn't going against the law of the ancient sages a broken bar. Ling Chen and the other ladies sat in a circle looking at Ling Jian with a bright smile. 
Ling Chen was to the left of Ling Jian, Li Zhu was to the right of Ling Jian, Yu Bing Yan was to the left of Ling Chen, Xu Yi Qian to the right of Li Zhu, followed by Zhai Yan Zhu and Princess Zhao Yu. It can be said that Ling Jian's harem was beginning to take shape and gathered over Hiri Broken Bar. In terms of martial arts, Ling Chen and Li Zhu were sufficient to sweep half the world. In terms of wisdom, Ling Chen, Li Zhu and Shui Qi Honor did not lose to anyone else. In terms of business mindset, the only few people in the world capable of being a match for Yan Zhu was Ling Jian and his mother Chu Tanger. Such a combination was definitely considered to be extremely extravagant. Currently, Ling Jian was surrounded with beauties all around him with their fragrance drifting around in the room. Young Noble Ling and Little Young Noble Ling both had their faces reddened as they stood up straight with their chests puffed out proudly. After starving for such a long time, it would probably be time for him to satisfy his hunger tonight right? Empire's title, Ling Chen let out a frown, what should it be? Ling Jian glared at her. This is what I am asking all of you. Why don't we just call it the Ling Empire? Yu Bing Yan thought for a moment before saying, Too old fashioned, too dull. Shu Yi Qi Honor shook her head with dissatisfaction and pondered for a while before saying, What about Ling Jian Empire? Unbearably dull. How can Tenja's name be used as the title of an empire? If that's the case. Wouldn't everybody be using Tanja's name whenever they talk about the Empire? Yan Zhu immediately retorted, The way I see it, we might as well call it the Heaven Empire. It is concise and pretty nice as well. Go and die, you should be the one going to Heaven. Li Zhu smacked Yan Zhu on the bum. Sit down, sit down, Ling Jian ordered. He then glanced at Li Zhu. Why does this lass enjoy following me? Why does she enjoy smacking the bum of ladies? However, that feeling is true broken bar he he a broken bar. Thinking about that, Ling Jian suddenly had a flash of inspiration. Why don't we name the empire the Divine Prefecture Chinese Socialist Empire? How about that? Ling Jian asked with delight. Cough 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 a broken bar Li Zhu began coughing incessantly and she couldn't catch her breath. You nationalistic idiot. To think that you can even think about that. Cough cough a broken bar I am going to choke to death. All the other ladies looked at each other with a look of bewilderment. They truly did not understand the meaning behind these strange words. Is it truly such a great name? Why don't we think so? Also a broken bar what does nationalistic mean? What's so bad about this name? It has so much sentimental value. Ling Dian muttered under his breath. Li Zhu rolled her eyes and said with exasperation, There isn't anything bad about it. It is truly filled with sentimental value. But don't you feel that it is completely out of place when being used on this continent? Ling Jian snorted and did not allow anyone to reject his proposition. In any case, I have already come to a decision. It can either be called the A Divine Prefecture Empire or A Chinese Empire. Just these two names. Choose one. Which do you think is better? All the ladies were baffled. They did not understand the reason for Ling Jian's insistence. Looking at Ling Jian, all the girls became speechless. Since you have already made a decision, what is the point of gathering all of us to have a discussion? All of them looked at Ling Jian with disdain. How would Ling Jian be bothered by this? He then said solemnly without a change of expression. How about it? Anything. Anything. All the ladies said in unison and ignored Ling Jian entirely. They then began chatting about fashion and tips to protect their skin from being tanned. Ling Jian asked again with frustration. Are both names not good? The ladies lifted their heads up and replied again in unison. Anything. Ling Jian was in a rage. Ling Jian stood up with frustration. Li Zhu, follow me. Li Zhu asked lazily. What for? Ling Jian snorted and displayed a look of anger before storming out. Li Zhu rolled her eyes before following behind Ling Jian. Is Dan really angry? Ya Yan Zhu asked with unease. That's right, that's right. Did we go too far? Princess Zhao Yu asked carefully. He definitely wouldn't be. While I do not know the reason why, Young Noble definitely wouldn't be angered because of something so small. Ling Chen said with confidence. He probably has some other thing frustrating him. However, the biggest possibility is that he is feigning it. Feigning it? The ladies came to a realization. As they recalled Ling Jian's expression, they could not help but burst out into giggles. However, even if he is really angry, 
There isn't a need to be afraid, Shuiki Honor smiled, I have an idea, after tonight, he definitely won't be angry. What is the idea? Tell us quickly. All the ladies asked curiously, even Ling Chen who understood Ling Tian the most looked with curiosity. With her understanding of Ling Tian, she knew that the moment Ling Tian was angry, someone's blood would probably have to be spilled before his anger was quelled. Hearing that Shui Ki On actually had an idea, she looked with excitement. He he he. Shui Ki On smiled and raised her eyebrows. Stange has truly been greatly stifled during this period and he hasn't done that for more than a month. As long as Sister Chin and Bing Yan serve him well tonight, his anger will definitely be subsided by tomorrow. Ah! A broken bar. All the ladies let out a squeal and their faces turned red. Ling Chin and Yu Bing Yan who were the parties involved looked like two tomatoes. They then chased after Shui Ki Honor and Ling Chin scolded laughingly, this little brat is spouting nonsense. Everyone beat her up together. Yu Bing Yan said with her face red, isn't this outcome all because of you? To think that you still have the face to say such words. All the ladies immediately looked at Yu Bing Yan. Why was it all because of Shui Ki Honor? Yu Bing Yan was extremely embarrassed and refused to say a thing. A long while later, everyone found out from Shui Ki Honor's lips that during the few days before they boarded the ship, because Shui Ki Honor had already confirmed her relationship with Ling Tian, Ling Tian had wanted to do that with her. However, Shui Ki Honor had always maintained the last barrier and insisted that she would only do it with Ling Tian in their nuptial chamber. Helpless, Ling Tian could only see Yu Bing Yan. However, Yu Bing Yan's stamina was far too weak and could not last for a long time, resulting in Ling Tian's suffering. When they were on the ship, even if Ling Tian had the heart and Shui Ki Honor was willing, they were completely helpless because of Justice's presence. All the ladies burst out into laughter together as they teased each other. Shui Ki Honor looked around to see if there was anyone else around before mimicking Yu Bing Yan's voice and imitating how she pleaded to Ling Tian. Yu Bing Yan was completely embarrassed and she immediately escaped from the room, while the faces of all the ladies were reddened. They laughed merrily to the point their sides ached. Outside the door, Li Zhu smiled and looked at Ling Tian. Are you really that concerned? It is just a name. Ling Tian let out a sigh and looked towards the sky with a fuzzy gaze. I believe that we will never be able to return but both you and I will always be the descendants of the yellow people. We will forever be. I will never forget where my roots are. Li Zhu's eyes lit up and she looked at Ling Tian with gentleness. In truth. Both Divine Prefecture Empire and Chinese Empire aren't too bad. However, it would be difficult to explain the name of Chinese Empire. Her words were as good as saying that she supported the name of Divine Prefecture Empire. Alright, Ling Tian agreed immediately before asking, Azu, just a broken bar what is going on with Jiayu? Li Zhu turned around and looked at Ling Tian for a moment before smiling, This is old madam's intention of broken bar. Ling Tian let out a long breath and said with depression, I knew it. But with your personality, why would you have broken bar? What else can I do? She is your grandmother. Can I possibly reject her? In this generation, polygamy is a common matter and since I cannot reject it, I can only accept it. Li Zhu lowered her head and let out a depressed sigh. Besides, Zhao Yu is also a pitiful lady. Since you can accept Shui Ki Honor and Zhao Yan Zhu who are supposed to be your enemies, why can't you accept Zhao Yu? Li Zhu looked at Ling Yan with her eyes lit up. You killed many of Yu Bing Yan's kin and it can be said that Shui Ki Honor's brother had died because of your machinations. As for the army of Zhao Yan Zhu's family, you had slaughtered at least 400 to 500 thousand of them. You can accept Yu Bing Yan, you can accept Shui Ki Honor. You can also accept Zhao Yan Zhu, but why do you have a mental barrier when facing Zhao Yu? As long as Zhao Yu can love you with all her heart, why do you need to bother about her status? With your current status, don't you have the confidence to give your women happiness? I truly don't understand what you are thinking about. Ling Tian took two steps back as though he was enlightened. That's right, I can kill the members of the Yu family, Shui family, Zhao family and even the Long family because my final target is the safety of my family members. It is also because of this that I will lift up the flags of the Divine Prefecture Empire. Furthermore, your harem will have Ling Chen, Yu Bing Yan, 
Shui Kian, Yanzu and I. Which one of us sisters are simple characters? If you are afraid that Zhao Yu will have other thoughts in the future Ria Broken Bar it's best if you hurry up. She would not be a match for any one of us so what is the point for you to worry? Besides, she is your biological cousin after all and this is the wish of your grandparents. Why can't you just fulfill their wishes? Li Zhu continued. However, I have always felt that marrying someone so close to me in blood ties is true broken bar Ling Jian frowned as though he was struggling. So what? Ever since ancient times, the marriage of those with close blood ties is common at broken bar Li Zhu suddenly looked at the strange expression on Ling Jian's face and knew that she was being teased by him. She immediately flew into a rage. I am going to be eat you up. Ling Jian chuckled and immediately dodged. I finally settled one of my troubles. Since I can accept you Bing Yan, Shui Qi Honor and Jia Yan Zhu, why can't I accept Zhao Yu, stud horse? Since I am already a stud horse, why do I have to erect a monument for myself? Furthermore, would I be able to remain a pure in this world until the end? Thinking about that. Ling Jian suddenly remembered a joke from his previous life. With his heart not untied, he could not help but chuckle. Li Zhu asked curiously, What are you laughing at? Ling Jian replied with all seriousness, I finally understood the reason the reason for the heart not in my heart. Li Zhu looked at the lecherous laugh on Ling Jian's face and despite knowing that Ling Jian didn't have anything nice to say, couldn't help but ask, What reason? Because we are too close? I would be too embarrassed to take out my tool. Ling Jian's body trembled from laughter. Scram! Li Zhu's face flushed red and kicked Ling Jian on the bum. As such, under Ling Jian's suggestion, all the ministers agreed to the name of a divine prefecture empire for the new empire. The name of the new empire was to be kept secret for the time being until the new emperor ascended to the throne in a month's time. Within Skybearing City, Everyone became busy. Yu Man Lu's Yu family army was already waiting by the side for the battle in the east to become tense and it would be the best if the Zhao and Ling family engages in an all-out battle. Who would have thought that after the Zhao family gathered up their army for half a year, they would cease all of their operations after besieging a city just once. This made Yu Man Lu who had made ample preparations feel as though the punch which he had been accumulating strength for had hit nothing but air. Right at this moment, news of the Ling family making preparations for the new ruler to ascend the throne one month later began to spread. When Yu Man Lu heard that piece of news, he smashed a total of three teacups. Damn it! That Zhao family is filled with a bunch of useless B Street RTS. They trained up their forces for half a year with the strength of a million soldiers. With the blood debt of 400,000 soldiers and the aid of above heavens, why would they suddenly fall silent? In the imperial garden of the Yu family's palace, Yu Man Lu was clothed in yellow robes as he cursed under his breath. However, even if they were enemies, there was still a need to send out an envoy to congratulate the Ling family. After all, they were still in laws in name. Yu Man Lu was currently considering who he should allow to go. At the same time, the Zhao family also received news. After Zhao Feng Yang's return, he immediately had a long conversation with Ao Feng Han in a secret chamber. Those with keen eyesight would easily be able to tell that after a short half a day of joy, Ao Feng Han began sighing for the entire night. His eyes were filled with indignance, regret, disappointment and many other emotions. After a long argument, the two brothers finally came to a conclusion. However, apart from the two of them, there wasn't a third person who knew the details of their conversation. At the same time, news of the Ling family preparing to set up their empire arrived. Ao Feng Han who received this piece of news was troubled for a long time before letting out a long sigh. The envoy party that was sent out from the Zhao family to Skybearing was extremely majestic. Second Master Zhao Feng Yang who had just returned to the Zhao family took up the heavy responsibility to lead the envoy personally to Skybearing. This trip was completely different from the previous one. The last time, the Zhao family was still high above the Ling family but now, the thousand-year-old Zhao family had already waned and the Ling family had become the ruler of a large empire. Fate was truly toying with them. Zhao Feng Han who was in the study let out a long sigh with complicated emotions. Just when Zhao Feng Yang was about to bid farewell to his older brother, a drastic change happened. A voice sounded from the outside, reporting to family head, 
Old Celestial Ming requests a meeting, invite him in. Zha Feng Han let out a sigh. Is it finally here, however? So what if above heavens have unparalleled martial arts, will they be able to turn things around? This is obviously a powerful killing weapon that human strength is insufficient to deal with. Family Hedge. This old man is here to ask you just why the marshal gave orders to stop the battle at the front line. As long as we break through the heavenly water Ravine Pass, our million man army would swallow the entire heavenly star. At that time, we would be able to proclaim ourselves ruler of the entire continent. For second master to escape from the Ling family, it should be a joyous occasion to celebrate. I wonder why an order would be given for our army to stop when the morale of our army is at the highest. I think that you should give me an explanation, right? A gray hair elder walked into the room. While his words were directed at Zhao Feng Han, his gaze was fixed on Zhao Feng Yang. May Elder Meng calm down. There is naturally a reason for this. Zhao Feng Yang smiled as he replied. However, his heart was filled with anger. The person before him was Meng Fanyun, who held the authority of above heavens in his hands, and the Zhao family treated him like he was a celestial character. Since he was a powerful force behind the Zhao family, he naturally belonged to the faction which supported battle. The influence that he had on the decisions of the Zhao family was no less than Zhao Feng Han. But regardless of his strength, he was only a guest in terms of status. He and his brother were the true decision makers of the Zhao family. Now that they were in the midst of an important discussion, Meng Fanyun had actually barged into the place and it truly seemed as though he was seizing the authority of the host. A thought suddenly sprouted in Zhao Feng Yang's head, what if we can let Ling Ti in a broken bar? Elder Meng may not know, Zhao Feng Han chuckled, if not for second brother rushing back in time we may have suffered an unacceptable loss. The Ling family had developed an extremely frightening weapon and the might of the weapon is sufficient to tear down the mountains. The cutting off of the Blue Jade River was also a result of this weapon. This weapon has already been spread into the army of the Ling family and our army suffered huge losses in battle because of that weapon. Thus, my second brother and I came to the conclusion that we should handle matters carefully before we are able to find a way to deal with the weapon. If we bury our army because of a rash move, there would truly be no turning back. What do you mean by powerful weapon? They are no more than some parlor tricks. How would it be a match for our million man army? Meng Fanyun snorted coldly and glared at Zhao Feng Yang, second master. Were you scared silly by the enemy or were you convinced by Ling Jian to surrender? If not, with Ling Jian's means, how would an important captive like you be able to escape so easily? Family head must not forget that more than 10 of my above heavens have perished under the Ling family's little tricks. For those experts to be killed so easily, it is truly a strange matter for second master Zha to return without any injuries. Chapter 666, Making a Fuss Zhao Feng Yang slapped the desk and hollered, What does Elder Ming mean by this? My granddaughter risked her life to save me and she is still suffering in Ling Jian's hands today. For Elder Ming to say these words now, I wonder what your intentions are? Is this Zhao not a member of the Zhao family? Will I speak on behalf of my Zhao family's enemy? Meng Fanyun snickered. Second Master said some incorrect things and was correct on some others. While Second Master may not betray the Zha family, it is difficult to say the same about others. Everyone in the world is aware that Miss Zha Yanzu holds a large amount of authority in the Ling family courtyard. She aids Ling Jian in managing his grain, money and transportation routes. How would she be suffering? Is Second Master treating Meng Fanyun as an idiot? Could it be that Miss Zha Yan Zhu does not have the surname of Zhao and isn't a part of the Zhao family? However, who knows which side she is actually on? If you want me to believe that you have not surrendered to the enemy, the only way would be for you to give an order to, to the armies to attack. Zhao Feng Yang flew into a rage, Meng Fanyun, I respect you as a senior and shall not be so calculating with you. However, you better not go too far. This is the Zhao family and the million soldiers on the outside are the sons of my Zhao family. The decision to send out the army will be made by my brother and me. Even if you are the sect master of above heavens, you are only a guest in my Zhao family. I don't think you have the authority to discuss military affairs. If senior does not have anything else, 
You may take your leave, a family. What a good a family. Is this an eviction order? Meng Fanyun sneered. He then raised his arm up and a powerful suction force was emitted from his palm. Despite being 10 feet away from Zhao Feng Yang, he easily grabbed Zhao Feng Yang by the neck. With Zhao Feng Yang's neck in his hands, a cold gleam could be seen in his eyes and he said in a flat voice, Zhao Feng Yang, even if you are the number two figure in the Zhao family. This old man can easily turn you into ash as if you frustrate me. Do you think this old man doesn't dare to do that? Zhao Feng Han was startled and hurriedly attempted to mediate. May Senior Meng quell your anger. Second brother suffered from great humiliation during his captivity and his emotions aren't stable. I hope that Senior Meng can show mercy for his rudeness. Meng Fanyan snorted before saying coldly. My above heavens has hidden in this southeast for four generations and aided your family with all of our might. We aided your family to rise up from a small insignificant family to a financial magnate capable of influencing the entire continent. Why do we bother doing all that? Isn't it so that our above heavens would be able to regain our status as the number one hidden sect in the world? If not for this. How would your family be able to enjoy such favor from my above heavens? I believe that family hedge is extremely clear about that. Now that the arrow is knocked, you guys still want to protect yourselves and seize battle. How would there be such a nice thing in the world? Since above heavens is able to help your family to rise up, we can also destroy your family. Zhao Feng Han let out an apologetic laugh, with seniors mystical prowess. Feng Han naturally believes in seniors' capabilities. We will definitely fight this battle. But before that, I have already sent people to Sky Bearing to investigate just what is the Ling family's secret weapon. The might of that weapon is too powerful and we have no choice but to guard against it. If we hastily go out to battle and suffer a huge loss, it will be too late to regret it at that time. I believe that Senior Meng already has a plan in your heart so there isn't a need to continue joking. He then chuckled. Meng Fanyun chuckled coldly and said, Second Master is someone who understands the art of war. The truth is hidden within the lies and the lies are hidden within the truth. This old man has been rude. I hope that Second Master will not blame me. He then let go of his grip and took two steps back. Zhao Feng Yang touched his throat and coughed a couple of times with his face reddened. His throat had already been bruised from Meng Fanyun's grip and after sitting down, he looked at Meng Fanyun and forced out a smile. Senior Meng is too polite. However, such a joke is not something that anyone would be able to endure. Meng Fanyun let out a faint smile. Second Master, you must believe this old man that if there is another time, this joke could become true any time. Zhao Feng Han hurriedly cut in the conversation. Senior Meng, my second brother and I were just discussing that we should send an envoy to congratulate the Ling family. This is a good chance to investigate the foundations of the Ling family. However, I am afraid that second brother may miss out some things. Senior Meng has countless experts under your charge and it would be best if Senior can send a few of your experts to guard second brother in the open while spying on the Ling family in secret. Apart from the peerless experts in above heavens, no one else would be able to accomplish such a mission. Meng Fanyun looked at Zhao Yang for a long while before snickering. That's right, how can I be at ease without sending anyone to accompany Second Master? I will naturally send someone to follow Second Master. I hope that everything will go a broken bar smoothly. He then snorted coldly before leaving the room. Outrageous. Fire seemed to be spewing out of Zhao Feng Yang's eyes as he looked at Meng Fanyun's departing figure with hatred in his eyes. Big brother, are we going to allow the above heavens faction to continue being so arrogant? So what if we gained the world? Can't you hear it from his words? While he seems to be obeying your words on the surface, his intention of sending men along with me is obviously to spy on me. Above heavens is truly too unbridled and arrogant. We cannot tolerate them any longer. So what if we cannot tolerate them? If we truly become enemies with them, above heavens has the strength to easily wipe out our family. Zhao Feng Han suppressed his voice and reprimanded, it is best for you to watch your words in future and make sure to be more tolerant. A cold gaze shot out from Zhao Feng Han's eyes as though he made a resolute decision. Big brother, 
Why did you take the initiative to get old Devil Ming to send men to sky bearing with me? Aren't you obviously asking him to spy on me? Could it be that even Big Brother does not believe in this little brother's loyalty? Ah Feng Yang was extremely dissatisfied. Second brother has misunderstood me. With your intelligence, you should be able to understand that I had no choice but to do so. However, such an arrangement is also for the best. The only way to prevent my Zhao family from being eradicated is to allow them to watch over you. Zhao Feng Han's face was chilly. However, you will be the envoy of our party on the trip to Sky Bearing. At that time, you can act at your own discretion. The last few words were said in a barely audible volume. Zhao Feng Yang's eyes lit up and replied, I understand. I will definitely act carefully. Zhao Feng Han chuckled and comforted Zhao Feng Yang with a pat on the shoulders. Rest assured second brother, while the members of Above Heavens are all martial arts experts and even ten of our family members wouldn't be a match for a single Above Heavens expert, but in terms of politics and schemes, ah uh ah, -uh, you are the true expert in the family. The two brothers looked at each other and burst out laughing together. However, their laughter was filled with a bone-chilling cold and dense killing intent. Second brother, follow me. I received a piece of treasure a few days ago. Come take a look at it. La Feng Han said. La Feng Yang laughed and replied, I truly want to take a look at Big Brother's collections. The two brothers then walked away together. The horses were sprinting with the gusting wind welcoming them in the face. La Feng Yang had a bitter expression on his face. La Feng Han's words echoed in his mind word by word. And the scene of Zhao Feng Han frowning flashed by. Second brother, your current trip to Sky Bearing will determine the survival of our Zhao family and you have to be more tolerant. The Ling family is sufficiently powerful and it would be best if we can borrow their strength. We still have some relationship with the Ling family after all. The only reason why they have not dealt with our Zhao family over the years is probably because of my big brother and sister-in-law. All these years. I have forgotten their benevolence and truly owe them too much. I no longer have the face to meet them. While I should personally make a trip to the Ling family to give my apologies, a pitch a broken bar. I remember that I had a bet with sister-in-law back then and her words still ring in my ears. In your trip to Sky Bearing, you can help me to inform sister-in-law that I admit my defeat in that bet. I have long known that I lost but I just did not dare to admit it. Because of our ambitions. We were restrained by above heavens and had no room to advance or retreat. Our brotherly ties back then were also harmed because of this and I even gave up the position of Little Zhu being Empress. If not for us annulling the marriage back then, Little Zhu would be the undisputed Empress today. It seems like Xuer is the one with the greatest foresight in the entire family. Now that we have lost the bet, while Xuer can still be together with Ling Tian. She lost her greatest advantage and will no longer have a chance to become empress. At the very most, she can only be a consort in the future and this is a result of our all family's ambitions and selfishness. You can talk to sister-in-law to let Xwer have her wish and see how big brother and sister-in-law reacts. No matter what, I believe that they will not trouble you. Besides that, if we can accomplish this matter, our family would definitely be facing an even greater danger. Above heavens is like a cleaver above our neck and we have to get rid of them. You can find Ling Jian for this matter and see if he can aid our family in this matter. Hayes, he is probably the only person capable of saving our family from this tribulation. The times today are different from the past. I truly regret. I truly regret. Thinking about the tone of his big brother and desolate profile. Ah Feng Yang's feelings were indescribably complicated. The dark clouds approached and a humid wind blew past. The boundless spring rains covered the entire world like the dense mist. Second Master, it is raining. Shall we find a place to take shelter from the rain and continue our journey after the rain is over? Seeing Ah Feng Yang lost in his thoughts and not noticing the weather, an above heavens expert finally could not help but open his mouth. All right then. La Feng Yang snapped out of his thoughts and ordered his subordinates blandly. Looking at a young lady beside him, La Feng Yang said doatingly, Yu Han, how are you? Can you still take it? If you are tired, we can rest for a while. This black robed young lady had bright eyes and white teeth but her face was like a block of ice that rejected everyone miles away. Even when La Feng Yang was talking to her, 
Her face was still frosty. I am fine. She then refused to say another word. Zha Feng Yang let out a sigh. This young lady was the clan sister of Zha Yan Zhu, Zha Yu Han. She was one of the few Zha family disciples who had the fortune to enter above heavens. However, the Zha family had actually raised her up as a cold-blooded killer and taught her the art of killing. After a long time, she naturally developed a cold character. Her entire body emanated a dense killing intent that made an individual tremble when approaching her. Every time Zhao Feng Yang saw her, he would let out a sigh. A good lady was trained by above heavens into an ice mountain. While the other female disciples were cold, they would not be frosty when facing their family members. However, this Zhao Yuhan would not even smile when facing her family members. Zhao Feng Yang never expected that of the six experts which above heavens sent out. Zha Yuhan was also sent. This made the Zha family members extremely puzzled. Along the way, Zha Feng Yang had tried to create small talk with Zha Yuhan, hoping that he would be able to find out the plans of above heavens from her. However, he never expected Zha Yuhan's lips to be completely sealed and her personality to be like a complete block of ice. Above heavens has truly harmed many people. Looking at this distant granddaughter of his like an ice mountain, Zha Feng Yang let out a long sigh. In Skybearing City, the original Skybearing Imperial Palace was being renovated and busy figures could be seen all around. With regards to the upcoming ceremony, the three generations of the Ling family seemed extremely casual about the entire event. Old Master Ling had even instructed, just fix the palace up and ensure there are no leaks. There isn't a need to spend so many resources and money on these houses. What a waste. While the three generations of the Ling family were casual about the event, how would the various ministers be willing to deal with the matter casually? This was the imperial palace and not some pigsty. This was the pride of the entire empire and no ordinary individuals would be staying there. However, Ling Jian added another condition to the instructions. You guys can build the palace as you wish but you must not get a single tail of silver from the commoners. This condition of his had immediately stumped the various ministers. As such, Ling Jian came up with a brilliant plan and ordered the various ministers to make a donation. He had even taken the initiative to donate all of his assets. A full 36 sales of silver. Everyone cursed Ling Jian in their hearts. Isn't this assassin going too far? Despite guarding a mountain of gold and silver, he still dares to claim that his wealth only consists of 36 sales of silver. However, they did not know that Ling Jian truly did not have the slightest bit of silver on him. He even found banknotes a complete burden to have and had already given everything he gained to his young noble. Even the 36 tails of silver that he donated was snatched from the personal stash of Ling Kai. All of the old men in the palace were completely helpless. Taking out money, they were penniless. But if they didn't take any money out, were they going to allow the palace to remain at its current state? All of them could not help but let out a long sigh. Since ancient times, there hadn't been a single emperor that did not bother about the appearance of the palace. However, there were a total of three now. They hated the fact that they did not choose to enter the army back then and chose the wrong path. If they had abandoned their brushes and entered the army back then, they could have gained some fortune from war. How would they be in their current dilemma? Before the empire was established, the salary of the ministers was naturally non-existent. They were all eating into their savings already and would naturally not have any excess money to donate, even if they had money, they couldn't bear to donate it either. After all, the palace had nothing to do with them. Ling Jian's intelligence net had investigated the reactions of all the various ministers and placed their report on top of Ling Jian's desk. It couldn't be helped, as old master Ling wasn't willing to bother about anything. He only wanted to be the titular emperor and enjoy his fortune. As for political affairs of the empire, that would be discussed by Ling Zhao and Ling Jian. Ling Zhao had already sped back to the front lines and refused to return. As such, all the political affairs of the empire were sent to the Ling family courtyard. Ling Jian went crazy again. However, after the donation affair that Ling Jian had stirred up, Ling Jian was extremely satisfied with the results of the investigation. The majority of the ministers were still considered clean. With the strength of Ling Jian's information net, 
even the brocade guards from his previous life would probably be incomparable. They managed to investigate all the details without the slightest commotion and they probably knew the number of rats every family had not to mention having mountains of silver or gold. Their efficiency was truly stunning. Of course, there were a few wealthy individuals among the ministers and they were all singled out by the investigations. The former Minister of Internal Affairs was guarding a large mountain of gold that was almost turning moldy. He actually learned to act like an honest official and donated 20 tails of silver while dressed in tattered robes. Before Ling Jian could even say anything, Ling Jian had already led his men to raid the former minister's house. He had raided more than a hundred thousand tails of silver and a few thousand tails of gold. To think that the former minister even argued that he was only corrupted under Long Jiang's rule and was completely honest right now. In a fit of rage, Ling Jian cleaved him in two without any mercy. As such, before the new emperor had even ascended to the throne, a bunch of memorandums were piled on Ling Jian's desk criticizing Ling Jian for doing as he wished and his arrogance. Ling Jian immediately had a huge headache. When he called Ling Jian over to question him, Ling Jian had replied with a cool tone, If this fellow can climb back out from the gates of hell, I will cleave him in two again. FK Ling Jian was thoroughly speechless and was completely helpless when facing Ling Jian. Ling Jian was an assassin who he had personally trained. He could only wave Ling Jian away with a long sigh. This imperial throne is truly a hot potato. Will I be able to do as I please and settle my grievances as I like? However, Ling Jian's thunderous methods also had a stunning effect. During the time when Ling Jian was overseeing the investigations, not a single official dared to engage in any corrupt acts. In just a single day, Ling Jian got the talented ladies of his harem to aid him. He then took out a large sum of silver and paid the various officials half a year's worth of salary. This action of his elated all of the various officials in the empire. However, this action of his gave Chu Tinger and Zhai Yanzu a large headache. They dragged Ling Jian before them to reprimand him before nagging at Ling Jian about the lack of money for the next few days. In a fit of rage, Ling Jian immediately summoned Ling Jian over to issue his new instructions. Regardless of whether they were bandits or robbers, there wasn't a need for any other gifts. Silver and gold would be the best gift and the more the merrier. Ling Jian left with his orders and after discussing the matter with Ling K, they made contribution ranking list with 50 names on it. The top few on the ranking list were Ling Jian, Ling K, Feng, Yun, Lei, and Dian. They had all generously written a number beside their name to set a standard for the others. Ling Jian, 5 million tails of silver. Ling K, 3 million tails of silver. Ling Feng and the others. 1 million tails of silver each. They then spread the notice out. The three continents were immediately sent into a frenzy. Thank you for your continued following. Please support us by subscribe to encourage our continued creation. And press the bell to notify new chapter from us. Thank you.